greatest gut in the land. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the stream. I'm going to start a new campaign today playing as Grease of Skulltooth. And what I want to do is just be the biggest, fattest bully in the Darklands and, and Cathay. Raid caravans, I want to use um, bullying and diplomacy. Uh, basically kind of like a thematic Grease of Skulltooth campaign. So uh, let's just see how we go. Farming caravans, hell yeah. I'm gonna hunt down them caravans and eat their, eat their goods. Hello from Japan. Look forward to the show. All right, cool. Thank you, dude. Um, Grant Albury did a little super chat. It's all ogre now. Yep. Gotta be a little bit careful putting like a swear word in the title. Like asshole's not that bad. But if you're wondering why I use two dollar signs, it's to try to dodge the uh, very very strict uh, YouTube algorithm when using swear words. It's like a really minor swear word, so it should be fine. Congratulations on the good news. Hope all goes well. What good news? <laughs> Sorry. What? News to me? When you talk about bullet, you talk about threat when doing di diplo. No, threaten's bad. Threaten's bad. Uh, there's other ways to bully people out of their money. Threaten's a bad way to go about it. All right, what do we got here? Tough. Uh, this guy doesn't get big names. All right, so Rhesus, his big names. I think we want to get shockingly obese. So we use the processed meat battle option on the first one. We'll get that. Um, you can use, uh, you can just go straight to Valley of Horns, but there's gold here. We should get that first. Uh, okay. Detach him. Little backseat note, do not do any diplomacy with Ogres, just conquer them. Yeah, I don't really expect to, um ally with them or anything, or, or confederate them. Confederations are basically impossible. Alright, Clan Tretch over here. Where are they? Down here. Well, they're just going to get wiped out by the Caravan of Blue Roses, aren't they? So I could get a non-aggression pact with them, yes, yes. just for money. <laughs> lovely, lovely Warpstone. More money! <laughs> More money. More money, please. More money. We can get more. There we go. So, yep. Good. Good. <laughs> That's not really much of a bully, but. Ready. All right, and what we want to do here is uh, probably grab the um, extra melee attack. Eventually, it would be good to get some campaign movement range, but I don't really need it right away. So we'll just go bloody and raw. Must face. Just to begin with. Uh, should we order this? Should be fine. Let's stay conquesting. All right, we need to use the process meat option so that he becomes shockingly obese. Boss over bosses. Yep, so we got one, a battle against Ogre Kingdom's Horde Master, which provides leadership, nah, and uh, melee defense and unit mass for him. So we'll go with that name. Cool. And the tyrant. let's get Tribe Stealer to begin with, because that'll give us melee attack when. Oh, that's only for him, though. Yeah, just get that anyway. Looks valuable. I'll have it. Plus, if we're going to bully the other Ogres, we're going to need relations with them. They need to like us as we bully them. 
You're early today? Yes, I'm starting early today because I'm going to finish early. Close victory. Uh, no, we'll fight it manually. I want to see if I can get a decisive victory. Yeah. The title made me think it's a porn video? What the fuck? The fat asshole? Mm, okay. Me over here thinking the viewership super low, not realizing the stream just started. Yeah, five minutes. Oh, Legend, how do you not have 2,000 viewers instantly ready at a time that you didn't tell anyone that you were going to stream? <laughs> I didn't tell anyone that I was going to stream, like, an hour and a half early. That's all good. What's my local time? Uh, 10.43 p.m. Right. We've got this guy here that we can use to stalk and just uh, capture some points. Don't know what else I'm going to do with him. And then, outside of that, I'd say we just charge in. Through the front. Just charge in through the front. We can only win. Why no Stonehorn Doomstack? Yeah, I know, right? How come I don't have Hellstorm rocket batteries yet? What a noob! He doesn't have Hellstorm rocket batteries on turn one. Get Banner of Swiftness ASAP. That would be good for Greasus, yeah, for sure, because he he is he is a fat bastard. He really is. He's a fat fucking bastard. We can actually get this one to sneak over here and capture this point. We could lower their melee defense by 15%. We've also got fireballs here, but gotta gotta get a good shot off. So it's all about that angle. How come you didn't gain 500 pounds in preparation for the live stream? Right, yeah. Really gotta get behind them, Russell. Got a good chance of actually hitting my own units. Extra melee attacks coming in handy here, just killing them a bit quicker. Jeez, the battle might be over by the time they Oh, they're starting to come over here. Maybe I'll maybe I'll go over here first. Because otherwise they're gonna detect us. But the battle shouldn't be that long. Legend should be eating constantly for six hours straight while playing. No, I'm not gonna do that. No, that's not healthy. How many out of 10 is the battle power of Greece? I say 5 out of 10. That's probably a good assessment, actually. He's, he's shit. Yeah, you're absolutely right. He's shit. He does a little... He's good for damage, but he's slow. Uh, and he's kind of derpy. And he's big, which is bad. But yeah, he's not... He's not... Um, he's not good. In that regard. 
Imagine being named Furtstank. Taking a fair bit of damage, I'm gonna pull it up. These guys are gonna come back in a moment. Man, it's pretty easy to stun lock these heroes. Not careful. Not sure if we're gonna get a decisive victory. We've, we've kind of taken a fair bit of damage. Army losses shouldn't be too far off, but I, I just don't think it's gonna be decisive. Probably still end up being close victory. I'll be annoyed if we get a Pyrrhic victory. Right, we'll just see how that went. Should just probably resolve it. Yeah. Respect for the patience you have during disaster battles shows that when you take your time and think things through, it makes a huge difference. Yep, I don't know why anyone would think otherwise. I, I, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Total Wars is, has become one of those franchises where most people, they don't think things through at all. And uh, they just charge in. Like, oh, I'm outpowered? Well, I'll just charge in and we'll see what happens. And they lose and they wonder, oh, I don't know what to do. Seems pretty obvious to me. Um, I don't have the Chaos Lords in my corn campaign. Is it because I don't have the Champions of Chaos DLC? Yes. The Cock DLC. Yep. Alright, so we'll just occupy that. That's not worth looting. Alright, so this guy here. Mm, yeah, we need to get his magic sorted. Alright, Greasus. Let's see here. Yeah, don't ever forget about the ones over here. That's really bloody important. Um. I usually do go for that, but that would be really handy, especially right now. I mean, I'm not going to get it just yet, but because I can't. But it's only two levels away, so we'll, we'll get that. Because like, even with five percent movement, there's no way that's going to compensate us and get us to Valley of Horns. Yeah, so it's not going to make any real difference. So we'll just try to get there as quick as possible. All right, give me some money. Who's got some money for me? Continue standing with us. And the more car. <laughs> what? I'm not bullying people on turn one? What's going on here? Alright, well, we definitely need to get some camps going. No one and, uh. Us. Let's upgrade the Great Hall of Greasus. And move on. What's your biggest grip with ogres? Or are they whatever to you? Uh, I think the ogres are fine. Uh, okay, uh, do you mean gripe? My biggest gripe with the ogres are that the big names are a little bit meh, their traits are shit, and their um, contracts are fucking worthless. But apart from that, I actually like the ogres. <laughs> you just named three of their main mechanics and said they were shit. But the thing is, they're, they're shit, but they're not. you don't have to interact with them.
Um, big names are okay. It's just that it's kind of luck of the draw, and you can end up getting some garbage ones. Yeah, there's no way that even with 20% extra movement, we'd, we'd reach that. This is not going to happen. Unless... Hang on. Could use the movement bug. I won't do it. I won't do it. But I could do it. Alright, just want you to know, I could reach there this turn with the movement bug. My army. My ogres. No one tells a tyrant what to do. Need to get some hunters together. Alright, who's got some money for me? Consume. Mm, I don't know. They like me, but I don't know. Might want to kill them. I don't know. Uh, isn't... Uh, where's that location? It's like over here. That's a stopping point for the caravans. We need to hit that quickly. Uh, Devos... Two Skies did a $3 super chat. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Why is the movement bug the one cheese where you seem to draw the line? Uh, because it'll trivialize the campaign completely if I do it. Remember his big name? I already selected it. Mm. I buy it. Okay, I'm probably not going to come down this way, so... I think trading with them makes a bit of sense. So give me some money. But I'm probably going to attack them. Probably will. Even if they like me, I probably will. So I'll, I'll hold off on that. I don't really have any good resources anyway. Can't put a camp down yet. But I reckon right in here would be the good place to put out like our main camp. Get that going. Veil of Titans, yeah, it's it's around over here somewhere, is that it? Veil of Titans, yeah. Yeah, that's where we need to be going. Yeah, okay. Alright, okay, and let's move on. Move it, bug. You can make it with the food buff. Can you? It didn't look like I could. It's a fair fair distance. Are you sure about that? I'm going this fairly blind. It didn't look like I'd be able to make it. How about the sneaky capture settlement cheese? Yeah, I'm fine with that one. Yeah, I'm fine with that one because I don't like sieges, so I just want them over with quickly. Sieges are dull, so I just want them to be over with quickly. Alright, so we got 8 units in there, so 15 units in total, we've got 15 units in total. They've probably got a lot of Noblars, we got some Noblars, but I reckon our units are probably stronger than theirs. Only what I listen to is me. Should be fine, we might... Well, let's just see here. Are you going to gorge your cheese settlement battles? Do they always stalk? Because that's interesting. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, settlement battles are... Sorry. Siege battles are not a big deal for ogres because of um, their ability to just eliminate walls straight away. Um, keep in mind, I am going into this campaign completely blind. I have no experience with the ogres in Immortal Empires. Alright, we need to find that manually. I've got to at least get a close victory. I can't see myself getting a decisive victory, but we'll try for close. Has the top bar for ogres always been so empty? It only shows your total gold. Yeah, because food is not, sorry, meat is not a global resource. It's an army to army resource. Whereas other factions, their resource is a global one, like skulls and grimoires and stuff. I'll smell ya! All right, I'm gonna see if I can sneak in and capture their um, melee defense part. Um, 
But apart from that, I usually like cramming my units just into one area. Make it nice and crammy. Uh, the reason for that is so that fewer towers are shooting at us at once. And it allows me to keep control of my army a bit better. So it's mostly just Noblars. Okay, change of plans. Go around this way. <laughs> tower there. Just go around different way. Yeah, that tower is going to be really accurate against us if we're bogged down here. I just got to pick a different spot. AI be like, no, you cannot just run away from our barricade and tower. That's cheese. I'll do it myself. Nah. Lost interest in that spot coming over here. I am completely new to Total War Warhammer. I have a hard time quickly microing. Any advice on how to become half as pretty as you? Manscaped, perhaps? That's a weird question. Um. Microwing has got nothing to do with being pretty. You're either born pretty, or you're not. <laughs> and as for microwing better, it just takes practice. Most of it just comes from muscle memory. Which is just practice. So just the more you play, the better you'll get. As long as you keep pushing yourself. If you don't push yourself, you won't get better. It's kind of like, imagine um, you're on a, like an exercise bike, and you're like... Put it on the, the lowest setting. That's in the least amount of resistance. And you're like, cool, this is easy. And then you never, like, dial it up. And you're like, just stay on the easiest setting. And then wonder why you don't get any better beyond a certain point. So you gotta, you always got to push yourself. It's not about... That was played. But yeah, there is a point in which there's... You know, you can push yourself to a point where there's no point pushing it any further. If I can get to this point here, that'd be really bloody good. So that we're fighting in an area where there's actually no... ...things going on. I just gotta get enough of my boys over here. Enough of the... Let's put enough fat in here. Cap this point, no towers will hit me. I hope. How does movement bug work? Uh, I'll explain it after the battle. Um, so I get asked that question a lot, so it becomes really tiresome to answer it over and over and over again. Okay, just gotta get in there. If I can get Greasus in there. So I can start capping that point. Gotta put more entities in. Footsteps. Oh no, my hidden units are revealed. Not and, uh, well. I'll try and get it out of there. Oh well, sometimes you get caught. Uh, just try to run away from him. At least he's not over here. So I guess that's not so bad. Okay, good. We're capping this. Slowly but surely. Good, good. Now we're not fighting near any towers. We might actually get that decisive victory after all. Call me over tyrant. The over tyrant. Eternal. Follow the fire.
easily one of the richest factions, especially when you confederate other ogres who have camps, so you can easily get 10 plus camps. Yeah, that is one way to go over your limit for sure. Um, but that's a bit finicky doing it that way. Because, for one thing, you've got to research all the ogre camps before you confederate them. And, um, that takes a little while. Fairly evenly spread out damage, except for this one here, but that's not that big of a deal. Everything's looking okay at the moment. Dan AI did a photo of some shit. Oh man, it is the best early frontline chat for ogres. <laughs> man, I don't know. You, you're talking to somebody who's not even uh, played past like turn 40 of an ogre kingdoms campaign. I have no idea. Hold on to this one, boys! shouldn't be that much longer. I don't think we're going to get a decisive victory. We've taken a bit of damage now. We've got a few towers shooting at us. Alright, I think you can over here cap this spot. Don't have access to Burning Head yet to get rid of just Chaff Noblars easily. If you can come over here and kill him, that'd be good. Don't you think Grease is a shitty fighter because of lacking speed and derpy animation? Yep. Totally agree. The strongest, the he is indeed a shit fighter. Does a lot of damage though. There we go. Alright, that's probably going to be a close victory. Yeah, that's fine. That's still better than what Order Resolve yielded, and that's all I can really ask for. Any reason why you choose Grease over Scrag? I don't know, man. Toss a coin. Question, why not encircle them in the first place? Um, it doesn't actually do more damage, and kind of, uh, I don't know, man, it just, it would have had the exact same result. Like, we had equal number of units, so by encircling the settlement, all that would have done is enabled more towers to shoot at us, so we probably would have ended up taking more damage. Um, their army was, uh, only slightly weaker than ours so by keeping our guys together like this we fight only a portion of their army at a time and we just hold a position that we capture their point um their capture point so they don't have as many towers shooting at us i mean you, we could have encircled them and had a very similar result ultimately it didn't really matter that much what we did uh ritzy did a photo of super chat mighty ogre boss of cheese may i ask your wisdom how does threaten work? I haven't found a single guide explanation for how success is calculated. My advice is don't bother. Don't, just don't ever do it. Thanks for super chat, just don't do it. Okay, that's my advice. 
Right? It's a shit mechanic. It's very poorly implemented into the game. If you want to use it, you have to figure it out on your own because every single time I've used Threaten, it's not worth it. Every single time. It's a shit mechanic, and CA needs to give it another look. Were the Widows fun to play? Yeah, they were pretty fun to play. Alright, so they're gone. And we've got a bit of overlap here. Alright, get rid of this one here so that we can build that there. Alright, now we can get ourselves Burning Head to get rid of Noblars easily. Alright, there we go. Get this one here. That way we can recruit faster and better than before. Get ourselves up to full stack quickly. I want to phase out the Noblars. Just go with Ogres. Okay. Now we've got to go and fight. How many summons do they have? Yeah, I think we should deal with these guys here first. I'm actually not sure. There's no guts bigger. Hmm. Gracious, the shockingly obese. Carve and obey me. In charge, you're in the tyrant. That a do the Oh my what? You gonna be fighting dwarves in like two turns? Over tyrant knows best. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. Over tyrant. Mm. Well, I don't know. We'll just see. Alright, what do we need here? Let's get Let's get that one done, because we, we've got enough money to the afford more troops, tyrants. so let's try to get that going. There's no guts bigger. Allegedly, well, have you been growing bored of your other campaigns, or you just want to cover different factions that you're interested in? Uh, no, dude, you guys get bored of the campaigns. That's why I'm more than happy to continue them longer than I have been. <gasps> mm. There we go. Uh, yeah, the reason why I start new campaigns is because support drops off really quickly. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to keep you guys interested in these campaigns as, as much as I can. Which one's this? Western province? No, Dissenter Lords of Jinshen. May our negotiations prove harmonious. Now, see, it would be interesting to threaten them, but, okay, if I threatened them for anything, and then just declared war on them anyway, the problem here is that they, um, it, it tanks your reliability, so threaten's just such a bad mechanic. So let's go to these guys here. If I go to them, and say, hey, I'll go join war against them. Mm, they're only offering nothing. So what about what about this one? I was if I offer to join war against them, mm. come on, someone's got to offer me some money. Cafe hmm. Because they got no army. Oh well. Time for this. Tribe lord. And it's actually convenient because I wanted to put an ogre camp here anyway. Because this is probably the safest location for it. Get him. Beat him. Food could be a problem early campaign. I never had a problem with food personally. Hmm. Hmm. Let's have a look here. I think we should just auto resolve it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then we'll take the... Alright, we just got 10 grand off them for that. So I'll take some extra meat. And I want to put a camp right here. Cool. 
My gut is law. All mine. I'm boss, and that's that. Uh, what what's in here? I'll eat any challenger. Okay, we got two units of ogre bulls. <laughs> Must face. So if we have a look at it, we paid two thousand for it. So ogre bulls are worth five hundred each. So I could just take those ogre bulls out of the army, out, out of the camp. And then we'd have a full stack. But we've got more ability to recruit. Uh, I, th I think another thing to consider is that everything inside of a um, ogre camp is reduced upkeep cost. So what we can do here is... Transfer all of the units into the camp. You can't put heroes into the camp. The boss. And that way it reduces the upkeep Five costs Lord. quite significantly. Leader yeah, yeah, it's way cheaper tribe. that way. Um, the, the only downside is you don't get as much replenishment. Looks valuable. i Pull me there. My gut is law. They work for Greasers now. Anything I loot belongs to me. My army, my ogres. Okay. Whatever I decide. Yeah. Uh, we're okay for money at the moment. We should get the spare tent. Because that'd be good for um, getting this. We'd get the return on investment back on that really quickly. Takes two turns, and we we get the uh, the growth back, so that we can just build up this uh, camp as quickly as possible. Because you know it, it does take a while. It's gonna kick off soon. All right, and then over here, this one's just all about money. We don't need to worry too much about growth with ogres. So yeah, just go income, gold. And ivory. Hang on, let me just check the other one. Yeah, definitely go ivory. All right, and then oh, I can't remember which of all the good ones. Camp growth when in enemy territory. Well, it's not in enemy territory, so that's not that big of a deal. Let me just have a look here. I gotta find where are the good ones. Control plus four would be good for because legendary. Yeah, yeah. Butcher's spice is good. Garbage. That's good. That's really good. That's really good. Yeah, yeah. Down the side here. Yeah, all this, all the stuff here is garbage right now. With this, we'll take the world. The camp limit was in Realm of Chaos in mind, not IE. They should probably address it. Yeah, they probably should. They should put a few landmarks around the place that increase your your um camp limit, or make it that like level forty lords can increase your camp limit by one or something, something like that. They really should do something about that. All right, so and then yeah, next time we just uh pick these guys back up. Now, this this has got boy, we were really close to Amble Peak. Hungry. Being able to Always hit it. Hungry. But yeah, that gave us some good money, and if we're lucky, another one will pop over here next turn, and I'll just hit it again. Alright, we got nothing. Okay, let's move on. Are you planning to use the Raiden Camp Growth Cheese? What's that? Camp Forging gets plus 20, though. It's in enemy territory, it gets plus 20. So, this one here won't get it. Yeah, Camp Growth plus 20 when in enemy territory. 
Like, that's good, that's good, but we're not put. This is a permanent one. This is a permanent one. We're not going to replace this anywhere. Well, hopefully not. So, I want to keep that there. Must face. There's no gut bigger. Alright, excuse me a moment. Heartbeat to speak, then the storm shall blow. <laughs> Time to pay up. To reach pay up. <laughs> this seems like a pretty good spot. Oh, money! <laughs> uh, and meat. Cool. Uh, that's a good amount of extra meat there. I'll, I think I'll take that. Raid and armies near camp give 10 growth. Mm, raiding armies. What? So if you go into raid stats... Uh. Uh, I didn't know that. I think I will. The boys are angry. But legend. Oh, farter. Oh, hey, well, they improved it. Speed 20%. That's better than what it used to be. What was it, 4% before? We got a disciplined one over here. Yeah, I think that the uh, the slaughter masters are better, but I'm not sure. Because tyrants do get big names. But these guys here get magic, which is which is better. Fleet-footed is still... Fleet-footed is still better, though. It is still better. I, I don't know why they do that. It's like... It is still... Yeah, just to get that. Whatever, whatever just grab this guy. So, I need to uh, get this guy raiding. That's... Oh, yeah, yeah. We could... We could... Oh, yeah, that's... That's... That is... Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's good shit. Good shit. Cool, 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 cool. All right. No food till you get there. Come on, faster. Gonna be over, Tyrant, one day. Right, we put uh, as many units as we can into here to uh, to reduce upkeep costs. Put as many as we can. Uh, it'll make me legendary. I'm boss, and that's that. You know, I don't think we need uh, these shit noblars anymore. I just don't think I need them. Oh, we just made some good money. So that's pretty good. Slaughter master. And the tree stream already finished. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? The the interest dropped off super quick. You know? I, I don't know what to I don't know what to do. You know? We have this conversation every single campaign. You guys know why campaigns get stopped. You know, I've made it very clear. Um You know, we gotta do this song and dance every single time. Alright, let's, uh, should we go down the blue line or the red line? Maybe we'll go a little bit down the red line first. I think we'll go Ogre Bulls and, uh, Iron Guts. 
Okay, is that for... Yeah, that's just for Ogre Balls. The... Where's Iron Guts? It's for Noblars. Fuck that. Iron Guts are here. Yeah. Because I'll have Ogre Balls at the beginning, and then o uh, Iron Guts later. Chuck it on my loot pile. Yeah. Butcher in chief. You don't worry about that. Okay, so... Trade Lord. Tribe Sorry, I watched it after the stream, not live. That's okay, that's okay. But like I said, look, my job here is to try to entertain people. That's my primary job. I do the best I can to keep people interested in the campaign as long as I can. But when it reaches a certain threshold, I have to start a new campaign. Okay? I have to do it. That's just how, the ca how it's always been run. I'm more than happy to uh, run a campaign for 10, 20 episodes. But the interest has got to be there, you know? Um, the only time I'll, I'll cancel a campaign on episode one, though, is if I'm personally really not enjoying the campaign. Like, for example, the Manfred campaign. That one, I just didn't like it at all. Even um, one but yeah, every time I start a new campaign, people are like, what happened to the previous campaign? Yeah. People lost interest in it, big time. The drop-off was huge. I did the best I could, but, you know, it's, it's how it is. Uh, okay, I think I've done everything I can here. I could recruit a little bit with this guy. Get some more ogre balls. Because, um, I think what I'll do is... I'm trying to decide what to do. We've got good money, and I don't need to construct anything. So, this guy's gonna be standing around here in raid stance, and I'm probably gonna be recruiting more lords to, like, just propulse this, uh, growth into the stratosphere. Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's move on. Demolish barracks, Cinema, because you have the camp? Yes. You're absolutely right. Uh, though, 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 um, at the moment, leaving it here is not a bad idea, because it allows us to recruit quickly, because they can only recruit one unit per turn from the camp. Was that another one that just popped down over there? Ah! <laughs> I'm never gonna get out of this province! Yeah, see, um, Consume. see, if I get rid of the building, I'll only be able to recruit, oh, I can recruit two per turn, sorry. Get it done. I'm boss, and that's that. Okay, we've got another growth surplus. Yeah, that is not needed. Challenger. Bring me something's leg. Uh, J Demo twenty two did a final subshare. Don't you think it's a waste to spend a point buffing Ogre Bull since Greasus? We should have Iron Guts as our main infantry. Okay, um, that's a good question. I'll answer that in just a sec. Let me just fix this up. That is a good question. To reach to wall. Okay, so. You need to spend six points in this area here to get to this point. So that means you can go down two lines. Now, the way you can go about that is either anticipate what your endgame army is going to be and use two different types of units, or you can boost your early game army 
and then boost your late game army as well. So when we go Iron Gut spam, I'm probably just going to go Iron Guts. I'm probably not going to get any other units apart from Iron Guts in Greases' army. So that means putting the points into Bull Charge here is not really going to be wasted because we need to put three points in addition to, to this to get to this point here. So it was a good question. Thanks, Super Chat. This will bring me. I must inform you that I am authorized. <laughs> uh. restless. Hang on. Move it. Wonder if I should have moved there first. Uh, let's see. Throw a face in my honor. <laughs> Yeah, so this guy here, we want him in like raid stance. March, or into the pot. Devour everything. My gut is law. Oh, he has to be in the region of. Butcher in chief. Leader of the tribe. He's actually got to be near the great. Oh god, how do I how do I? I gotta figure this out. Great Hall of Greasus. If he gets to this area here. Moore's prophecy. Mm, okay. See, so he's not providing it yet. Okay, just hang on. I'm just trying to figure this out. This way. There we go. You've just got to be in the same region as it. Okay, I got it. So that means anybody in this area here can provide um, the growth for it. As long as they're in raiding. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Some it says medium casualties, so it's probably because of this. I wonder if we should just fight this manually. They got a lot of archers, which is just gonna roll straight over. They've also got a lot of peasant long spears, which again, I think I'm still gonna roll right over. Um, I think I'll just auto resolve it still, because I reckon these ones here are gonna take all the damage. It's wasting time, boys. Uh, I mean, they did, but also it was pretty lopsided damage. Still, twenty grand. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'll take that. Uh, how are we going for meat? Where we're. we're I think the cap is 300, so we're getting pretty close to that anyway. Oh my god, three bloody dudes came over here, one after another. <laughs> god damn. They're like, huh, should we really be sending these caravans over through Greece's uh, Goldtooth's camp? Seems like a bad choice. And what we can do here is if this guy stays in this area, anytime somebody comes over here, you can just pick up an army from the camp and just be like, fucking gonna kill ya. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I need you to get over to Great Hall of Greases camp. Once again, just transfer them back over. We gotta eventually get, get Greases over here. Uh, but, okay, okay. Put all of the, the damaged ones need to go in there. First, this one's going back in, and then the expensive ones. And I'll leave two because I'm going to recruit some more units. But I'll do it in the camp. I'm boss, and that's that. Oh, you can actually recruit from this spot as well. Um, I'm a, okay. I'm gonna get rid of this Noblar Trapper. Actually, no me, I get, I get that. It's like, oh, but it's a stalking unit. We don't need to worry about that. So get rid of that. <laughs> no, please. And yeah, just get some oh, of this. Okay. God, look at that. Fifty Slide grand on turn six. six. That's going to last us a good long while. And, you know, we got quite a lot of experience out of it. So that worked out pretty nicely. So, somebody said the top line had some bonuses for, um... Uh, Ogre Bulls, but I'm not sure if that's actually correct. 
Oh no, there it is. There it is. So that's at rank 12. We're still a little bit from that. Okay, and then get... Yeah, just keep going down this line here, I guess. More spoils. Nice and shiny. In order to pass Greece's camp, you need to pay 150% tax, good right plus me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so if we wanna um if we wanna really project this growth up heaps, we need more lords in raid stance. Obviously that costs supply lines, but that's not that big of a deal when they're doing this stuff. Ooh, Big Daddy, charge bonus plus three. See, I know how to put in the big traits. Yeah, we'll go with you. The Moor's red right hand. Okay. Must face. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah. Um, anybody that raids within the Great Hall of Greece's camp, uh, sorry, the Great Hall of Greece's region will provide growth to the Great Hall of Greece's camp. We just project this like crazy. And we, we basically fund it using the caravan mechanic. But yeah, as soon as they, as soon as the caravan could just stop coming here, I will, I will uh, make a move on these guys up this way. I'm not sure which one I'll go for, but I gotta go for one of them. Uh, keeping that just for the time being, just for the time being, because we we do need to recruit a little bit quicker, I think. Um, not gonna recruit in global. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. And let's move on. Is Fleetfoot of the same trade as Barter? Uh, pretty much. Nah, not gonna trade. You send a caravan over here and I'll, I'll trade. <laughs> Come on, Iron Guts. Iron Guts are tier three units. We're not, we're not that there yet. I, I want to get Iron Guts. I want to get them. Okay. <laughs> Turn seven. You gotta give me some time. Okay, we're we're not there yet. Okay, we gotta get we gotta get growth going. I'm working on it. I'm working on it, dude. Okay, you just gotta give me a bit of time. All right, there's um, there's not, not nothing here this turn, so I think we're good to to get moving. Let's get out of his way a little bit. Mind. Stop on. Problem is, raiding uh, the Great Hall of Greece's camp will reduce the income from it. Because, like, look at this. If I take him out of the stance... Yeah, it is costing me quite a lot of money to do that. I'll, yeah, putting this in maybe this region here wasn't the best idea since of how much money it can make. Um, but it's, it's only... It's not that big of a deal considering the... Um, uh, thing. Maybe I should have put it here, maybe, or even at the Valley of Horns, but it's too late now. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna demolish it just for that. All right, and then bring this guy over to here. Guided by me. Have him raid as well, and if we look at that. Yeah, yeah. Each of them are providing an extra 10 growth. Nice. All right, now let's get Rhesus on the side here. All right, we're going to pick up, pick up the ogres that we need to go and fight. Leaving the damaged ones behind. Okay, if we want to get to Amble Peak next turn, which if we have a look at it, there's only a small military presence there. If we want to get there next turn, I have to... Oh, I, I can't do another one until... Until it actually expires. I'd have to force march there, uh, which is a little bit of a risk. 
because there's an army right over here, but based on this, they shouldn't be able to reach me. Oh, no, we're not force marching there. Oh, no, that's a lot bigger than I thought. Oh, that's a lot bigger than I thought. Okay, um... Hmm, hmm. hmm okay, it's a lot bigger than I thought. Alright. Alright, well, we need to... Hmm. Hmm. It's interesting. All right, force march back to here. Double time. That way we get more replenishment. Uh, yeah, I didn't realize that was going to be so big. Uh, Rex Teresia did a MYR6 super chat. Turn seven, still no iron blaster. Didn't stack. Check in my head. Yeah, no, he's doing super chat. Okay, so good thing I didn't force march there. That would have been a bloody mistake. If I get rid of this, I could build an income building. It's not worth tons. It's not a huge deal to worry about it. Um, how are we going for public order? It's not great. Probably because I'm raiding my own territory. Probably a lot of noblars. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, uh, yeah, you, you could be right. You could be right. Yeah. But what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to use... I'm going to try to ambush them. So I'm going to grab another dude here. I'm going to use this guy as bait and try to lure them down here. Alright, uh, let's have a look what we need here. That's not important. That's not important. So yeah, let's work on that one there. Got a decent amount of growth coming in here at the moment, so that's all good. And yeah, let's, uh, let's see how we go with that. Let's move on. This guy is a little bit of a scout. Alright, they put the bigger army in there. Interesting. The over tyrant. Interesting. No, I will not shame my clan. Hmm. They're coming. Enemy. Yeah, it is not all noblars. It is not. Yes. And in cause I said so. Tribe Lord. We must feed the more. Okay. Uh, alright, this is gonna be a little bit tricky. Just a little bit. If you could just stay right there. Alright. We should we should be within range to be attacked by this guy, and I'll put Greasus right here in ambush stance. Hopefully we don't get detected, and we'll see if that gets pulled off. Um, you transfer those ogre bulls over here. Keep raiding the area though. Got to get that growth going. Uh, should we get another lord up in here? <laughs> And continue to raid for that delicious growth bonus. Um, Cause yeah, they're doubling our growth. Nah. 
Yeah, let's do that. No Alright, let's see if I can get some more deals going. You. Yeah, no deals with them. I'm still probably going to bully them. Uh, yeah, I'm going to trade agreement with them. I have no intention of attacking them, and I think they're going to die anyway. Uh, I can get a d defensive alliance with them. I think that's fine. Me one of your friends in that's why Should be fine. The boss. Harmony. Above all. My meat makes the try. Now, we've got to make sure that we've got a big enough the army boss. at the Great Hall of Greece's camp that can basically Above take on anything. Your dinner. Okay. Okay, alright, at this point here, just recruit from the Great Hall of Greece's camp, and we can get rid of this now. Yeah. Because, yeah, as we build this up, doesn't it provide reduced upkeep cost? No, no, where do we get the reduced upkeep cost from? It comes from one of these. There, right there. Reduced upkeep cost, minus 20% all units in camp. Since we're already reduced by 60%, this could help us... That basically halves the upkeep cost already in there. So it's currently costing a thousand, so that would actually provide us with 500 uh, extra gold per turn. That's also pretty good to get the gluttony ability, but let's let's go with this one here. Let's reduce the upkeep costs. Okay. Since that, that is uh, pretty much permanently going to stay here, because this is our raiding area. Um... Just trying to decide whether or not we should get another one in here for e even more growth. Because so I got 40 grand at the moment, which is a lot. Which is a lot, but uh, we could very easily bankrupt ourselves if I'm not careful. Why don't we get through this, see how that goes, and then see if we need... And you know what, why don't you recruit some... Why don't you get the campaign movement range one? And just recruit some noblars because this won't be available, but these two here will be. And then we'll also transfer this over to public order and growth area. Paul Morgan, the trainer of Hey, legend. Been watching your VODs for years now, but I finally got a normal day job. I can watch live. Here's a piece of the value your content has brought me. I right, thanks, dude. I appreciate that. You didn't know me anything, but uh, thanks for the chat. Gathe is bound to another tribute, so probably. Yeah, it's bound to. It's bound to. Um, but it might not happen right away. We're on a timer here. We've only got 20 turns before we run out of money. At this current rate. Plus, we're still recruiting. And I've got to deal with quite a lot of forces here. Someone better keep so... I think we'll be fine. Let's do it. Do you play ogres with negative economy? Um, no, we're just trying something different today. Is there a reason to use anything other than campaign movement sacrifice? Just depends on what you need. Sit down. Grab a no, not yet. Okay, we got them coming in. I didn't see what was going on. Gives away the bloody ambush with that. The ambush must have failed. Can you explain the move bug? Yes. Okay. So if you are in a locally owned region and you rec and you, you start recruiting a new unit, then save the game and then load that save game and then cancel the recruitment, all of your movement will be replenished with the exception of heroes. It doesn't replenish the, the movement of heroes. All right. So I don't know what happened to them. Yeah. Ambush was foiled. 
placed in my honor. My gut is law. Make ritual. Even with the campaign movement 20%, I can't get to there. Uh, I don't know what happened to the dwarfs. Use them as a scout. Let's see. We could hit the Karakazoran camp, and these guys will reinforce. <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on. Okay. So I think we'll go for Karakazoran first. If we're going to do this. Hang on, you might need campaign movement range. And... Yeah, Alright, well we need to make sure that Greasus makes this attack. Luckily he's got enough movement to do it. You just stand right there so you reinforce. That was really stupid of them. I think, anyway. Must feast. Graces always wins. Will they reinforce even if you're at war? Yeah, they're both at war with us and they're friendly with each other. So yeah, they're going to reinforce. Alright, we have to fight this manually or else it's going to be a... Well, if we order... Mm -hmm. How are we going to do this? Yeah, I have to find it manually. Alright, so there's two options here. We could just go in there and win really quickly. And then allow the enemy reinforcements to come in. Or we could camp by their spot. And just smash them as they come in. We don't have a amazing magic at dealing with them either. Not yet anyway. Once we get Flamestorm, that'll be good. But I don't have that yet. Because, yeah, we... Okay, let's see. We've got two minutes before they show up. It's not much exactly in here. Plus, we do want to wipe them out. So, waiting for them to come in a little bit can be quite handy. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go quickly win in here, and then allow them to come in, and we'll see how that goes. Little Ribbles became a member for 19 months, hopefully you're doing well, King. I'm doing fine, thanks, thank you for the super chat, appreciate it. Uh, membership, I mean. Okay, I want you to uh, stay over here, though. So this is an example of us now um, going through each of the spots. Because you were asking before, uh, somebody was asking, why not surround? Just depends on the situation. This is a situation where we want to we want to uh, get in there and cap all those points really quickly. The battle's not won when we cap all three points, is it? <laughs> okay, hang on. If we time this right, what we need to do here is time it so that we cap the point right when the enemy reinforcements are about to enter the area yeah we could if we could time this just right we can route this dwarf army without fighting it all right so basically just come in but don't cap all three points don't cap all three points, all right? We just want to cap two of the points, all right? And basically, we wait for the dwarves to be, I don't know, here. How about, how about you back off a little bit? We don't really need you. Maybe I'll just send one. Follow the Moors call. Bell do. Greases on it. <laughs> Hunt 
Because we, if we wrap them as soon as they just come into the battlefield, then what's the point in that? Um, we want to kill them. So that it makes the, the other fights a bit easier. Get more of these guys back out this way. Take it all. Yeah, we want to. Biggest in the tribe. Give them some time to get in here, and then just when they're entering the, the camp, that's when we cap it. So they're crammed in here, like a bunch of sardines. In a can. You know what I mean. Okay. So that's our reinforcements. Okay, you guys come around over here. Just, uh, just, 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 just Okay, any reinforcements have arrived. It's okay. It's okay. We just have to make sure we get here within the next, you know, I don't know, minute or so. Hungry, devour them. You guys get around here. Let Greasers fight him. This point's mine. Rampage this way. Okay, get over here. When do we eat? When do we eat? All right, now we just got to time this right. Because they're too close to the edge of the map at the moment, they'll get away. Here we go. The whole master. All right, ogres are defeated. Now for the dwarfs. Plus we get the momentum bonus as well. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to suck up a bit of this damage. No choice about that. Just a bit. Knock me down. The cleaver will die. Rejoice in flame. The more calls, the strongest, the fattest. Okay, we just gotta make sure, just to be patient. Not yet. Serve the ogres! Ogres! Gush out, boys! Thunder and fall! So, yeah, I wanna give them some time to come into the city. How about you guys come in a bit? Slaughter Over here, want them to come inside. Hurry. So what I'm gonna do here is just get just up the tip and then go in and out until it's just ready. The more so take some damage here, try and cycle them out so we're not taking too many casualties. Because if they're crammed in here, that'd be really good. Because we're faster than them. Not yet, not yet. Okay, come out. Let that decay a little bit. Find a meal. Uh, actually, these ones can come out a bit because they are stalking. They can't see them. Oh shit, we're getting shot a little bit. That's okay. That's okay. It's all part of the plan. <laughs> yeah, it's all part of the plan. Get, get, get back a little bit. That's it. Come on inside. That's it. Shit, 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 shit. We're not ready for this. We're not ready to lose. Win, win just yet. Not ready. Not yet. <laughs> it's weird. Doing a weird thing here. Where are you? Me! Me! Yeah, I know we're getting shut up a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. This is all just to provide a little bit of time. Okay, start, start capping now. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is what we need. This is it. 
chamber of fire. Okay, start bringing these guys back Finished around. In the okay, you got to make sure they don't cap this point. But we'll cap this point before they cap anything. As soon as that's capped, these guys here should just run away. That's right. That's as far as I'm aware of how it works. Alright, here we go. Follow the Lord's call. Good, they're all inside the city, and now they should just lose, right? In like a few seconds. <laughs> right, here we go, here we go, here we go, it worked, here we go. Alright, here we go, awesome. Trap them in, trap them in, boys. Looks like it's canned food tonight. Come on, get in there. Slow him down. Speed minus 60%. <laughs> You're like, oh shit, they captured the point. Quick, 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 quick. Looks like Dwarf is back on the menu. that can use if not moving it was so bad for them to reinforce the camp that was so bad for them Oh yeah, it is kind of working. Come on, come on, run, run them down. So they will get all of them, but we'll get a lot of them. This is why we waited so long to do that, so that uh, we could actually get them. As many of them as we possibly could. Rampage this way. Yeah. When do we eat? That was really bad for the dwarfs. Gas out, boys. Hungry. Ogres attack. Me, me, me. Hungry. Overwhelm them. Let's get up a little bit. Yeah, don't let those thunderers get away. Imagine if we can put Ogre Bulls to block the exit in time. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It, yeah, maybe. Maybe I could have done that. But the problem was, if I bring my units out here, then they came out as well. So... And plus, we were getting shot. So we needed it to, um, to hurry up. Definitely would have been good if we could have killed more of them. But we did probably wipe out about half the Dwarf Army for very few casualties. Uh, that was really bad for the dwarfs. Really, really bad. Very good for us, though. Yeah, they lost more than half their army. Pretty much for nothing. 
Should have left all the bulls outside and one inside the cap. Well, I, I had some bulls outside. The dwarfs didn't come inside. That, so that's why I moved all my uh, bulls inside, so that the dwarfs would move inside. Because otherwise they were just circling the camp, and that's not what we wanted. We wanted them to come inside. We can pretty much fully replenish, or yeah, yeah, let's just go back right. because we're we've got to move on and finish off the dwarves. Aiden did a two dollars chat. Could you say greatest gut in your best graces? Nah, sorry, dude, I, I don't do those kind of requests. But thanks to the chat. Okay, so we got. Graces, the shockingly open. Okay, cave painter. All right, cool. We've got that. Slaughter master. The cook master has you to hide. No, I will not shame my clan. All right, we're off to Karakazor next. The master abides. So that'll be useful for the siege. Possibly. We'll see how that goes. Uh, no, um, no things over here to get. And let's get some more money from here. Cool. Tribe Lord. Getting close to camping. But yeah, that worked out very nicely for us. Really, really good. Alright. And then we'll get the best eaters as well. Work down that line. Uh, Kobe did a $5 nice super chat. Hey, Legend, did you manage to resurrect Boris in your kids' left campaign? If so, how'd you do it? Yes, we did. I did a community post uh, uh, explaining how to do it. Um, you cause a revolt at Nov Novchozzi, and it brings him back. It took a, it took a while, but it, it eventually happened. Thanks for the chat. Appreciate it. All right, all right, all right, all right. So yeah, just waiting on guys over here. I'm a tyrant. No ogre can beat me. Mm, I don't know if that's worth it. Yeah, get some more hunters would be good. Or we'll get a hunter. We are uh, How much growth is needed for the next level? It doesn't quite say. Can't remember what it would be. But we're growing at a really fast pace and I don't really need anything else. So let's just leave it. Two should be enough for there. For now. Alright, cool. Let's move on. Uh, actually, let me let me check diplomacy so we can get... I have no intention of fighting them, so give me money. I have no intention of going down this way right now, so... Okay. Be friends. Alright, all good. Bringing him back and actually confederate him is another story, though. Yeah, I think what you need to do, and this is probably what I should have done in, in my campaign, um, which I didn't do, rather than ally with Boris, which is what I did, I should have declared war on him and just left him under siege and starved him out. What will eventually happen is he will eventually like you, um, again, if, as long as you're not sacking the city constantly, and he'll eventually ask you for a peace treaty. When he asks you for that peace treaty, if you've got your relationship above 150, you are likely to guarantee a confederation. You can bully them into confederations, but it's tricky. That's what I should have done. Um, but I didn't do that. But yeah. I, I played the Kislev campaign a little bit after the live stream campaign. It just, um, I just couldn't get him to do it, to confederate it. I got close. I got close, but he wouldn't actually confederate. Right, let's move on. Don't go thinking you 
you can talk us. Have come. Mm, I'm probably gonna just no, not right now. The AI does seem to be learning a little bit. They know that if they can see that a bunch of armies are on the way, that and they don't seem to stand a chance, they won't leave an army standing outside the city, which gives us an opportunity to draw them out. Many apologies, your great Vulcanus, but I bring news. The Black Orc war boss seeking to take these mountains for his own has been lured to the fire mouth as you requested. Hmm, I know this battle. It's not that tough. The over tyrant. But I definitely did it with a better army the first time I fought it. Over tyrant's crown is good, but and we're about to bloody fight Karakazorn, so I could really use full strength. Um, Master of awful, gracious, the shockingly outbreaks. Probably not the best choice to do that right now. Tyrant. Smart plan, this. Does that work for all confederations? Yeah, yeah, you can bully them. It's, it's a bit tricky, but yeah, you can do it. Um, okay. Get up, beat them. Then me, in my gut. Ogres. Stomp on! Oh yes! Alright, let's have a look at this map. Did he just ban Stonehorn? That's only Realms of Chaos, you don't get it in Immortal Empires. Right, okay, okay. This map here is good. Yeah, I don't anticipate any problems here. We should be able to cheese this. Difficult with a lot of garrison like this, though. That's a that's a very large garrison. But hey, let me have a look at the settlement one last time. Conquest. Big on. It's only tier two. Gracious always wins. I might be able to sack and occupy it. What was our equipment? Do we have anything good? Nah. No, it's garbage. Um. Get him. Beat him. Alright, I got an idea. Let's jump in. Use food? Nah, I'll be fine. Nobody starts with tier 5 units anymore? Yeah, a lot of the tier 5 units have been taken out of the uh, army. Armies. Why do ogres have no stalking units to cheese? Yes, they do. You can sneak in and have double before. Yeah, I know. I know. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, if we set up over here, yeah, let's set up over here, because in every single siege situation, you always get the Stone Shaker ability, right, which is really good, and then we'll just use the Flamestorm as well, because we want to thin them out as much as possible, otherwise they're going to be walking around in other places, and then we take this, and deploy in the, May oh, well, we'll see where to deploy them in a minute. Okay, we got plenty of winds of magic. Yeah, they will shoot at him. Okay, their units are spread out all over the place, but that's okay. I think we can uh, maybe maybe just hang back a bit. I'll just save up the magic in the meantime because they're, they're shooting us while they're on the walls. Need to get them off. And that tower is not going to do that much to us right now. And let's get rid of that first. Okay, and then this one over here, don't come in from over there, come in from over, yeah, actually, do come in from over here, yeah, whatever, come in from over there, and I'll send the Noblars over this way, 
climb over the wall. I could have them come around the back, but then that'd take several minutes longer. Survivor of fire! We can see there's no units over there at the moment, so I'll, I should be able to find a way to sneak around. Maybe it's best don't make a breach. They tend to close up the gaps if you create a breach. All right, you come over here. What you can do is also use this to dish out damage. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's, uh, let's do this first. Ah, sometimes they drop down. Not this time, though. Cheese in time. That did really nicely. What are you doing over there? Get over here. So yeah, what we're gonna do is actually climb over the walls. Because if I create a breach, I just feel like they're going to come over this way and I need to be able to sneak. As soon as we get detected, it's going to fucking fail. So create more breaches over here instead. Maybe they'll fill in the gaps a bit more. Little bit of movement out here, bit of a concern. Bit of a concern. You can also pop this down on them. It doesn't do much damage, but it's, you know, you can just keep doing it. Now, if I really want to draw them away from here, what I can do is just charge in with the ogres, but let's just hold off on that for the time being. Because we're going to try to get the best kind of victory we can. That's how we're going to get most most uh, of our experience. Yeah, they're, they're not putting any units over here now. Why are they moving? We never got detected. How dare they? How dare they not take this seriously? But on the other hand, if they're all coming in over here, look how clear we are to just like run in here with the ogre balls. Yeah, I don't know about this. We might get detected. I was hoping to sneak in, but the AI is actually not being completely stupid with that. As per the usual. Oh, hidden units are revealed. Alright, well, that's not going to work. I guess we're charging in. <laughs> See, they've gone all the way over here to go and deal with this. Like, most of their army. So we just got to adjust. Alright, these guys here, I'm actually just going to get them out of the city. So what we want to do is open the gate and then get back out. Actually, don't even do that. Just destroy this. All right, time to get out. <laughs> Just get out. Fire is life. The more calls. All 
But yeah, they don't have any protection over here. We just rampage. Just try to make a beeline straight for that with the ogres. Just roll right over them. Probably saw the wall tower conquered. They usually don't care about that, so I don't know. I must have been discovered or something, but this is unusual for Stork. They actually did something about it. It's like the AI actually improved, but I don't recall there being a patch. Right, I'm gonna put this down there. It should destroy the barricade. I'm not 100% sure. I bet those archers get in over here. Kind of dodge us a little bit there. Uh, Face Jumper 911 did a 5 euro Did you know that explosion from miscasting can destroy towers? Found out by accident yesterday. Um, I didn't know that. Thanks, Super Chat. That is, I don't know if that's super useful, but I guess that's information. So yeah, thanks, Super Chat. Appreciate it. Weird, they're just not pathing towards here to get rid of these damn quarrelers. Taking a bit of damage. Definitely would have been better if we could have stalked, but they just they just didn't let us do it. They just didn't let us. Uh, King Chaz at a five dollars in chat. Would your ogre, what would my ogre name be? Um, cheese stonks. <laughs> cheese stonks. Yeah, that's what it would be. Okay, this should disrupt them at the very least. So I'm shooting for a little bit. There is capped. What are you doing? Why aren't you coming in? Do you incoming Grace is good over here? Are you gonna try and let o other ogres build camps and convey them once you hit your limit? Uh, probably not. I don't think that's a big deal. Not too fussed about the ogre camp limit.
of stuff. Get rid of the Quarrelers. They're the ones doing the most damage to us. See, they're too busy defending this area here now that they're just not properly attacking our army, so we're just rolling right over the one or two units that are defending these positions. I'm sure the towers are doing some damage to us, but it's not that bad. Can't pop it down on regular towers. We're almost at the capping points. Just to do some damage to him. Fattest, strongest, richest, reconciled. What is he doing down here? Come on. Do you know what will happen to my ultimate crisis save if I roll back to avoid the end turn crash bug? I have no idea, dude. Uh, it should be fine, but I have no idea. That's a that's a developer question you gotta ask. But yeah, the end game crisis should still happen as normal. But uh, I don't know for sure. We haven't taken that much damage yet. Well, we've taken a bit of damage, but we haven't taken too many casualties yet. Say. Right, that point's capped, but as long as they've got a unit in here that hasn't broken, we're not going to be getting victory tickets. get some guys up here. Although, I think we're closer to army losses than winning this via um, victory tickets. Because we're s absolutely smashing them. But I just don't know about uh, getting the army losses. We'll just have to wait and see. Any more wins left to come in. Come on guys. Keep moving over here. Get the heroes up this way. When do we Let's try to get as many as we can out of here. need to gain victory tickets from this one. I'm gonna take a few casualties.
Second army ability just slows them down. It's not really that important right now. That's why I'm not using it. We've got some close calls over here. Some of them are really badly damaged. We're definitely going to win. It's just a matter of, are we going to win this without any of them getting wiped out? We can pull this one over here into relative safety. That would be good. One more cast of this left to do. If he doesn't backfire too much. Uh, looks like it backfired a little bit. Luckily, Flamestorm's not that bad for uh, monstrous infantry. In my guts. Come on, just a little bit more. We're almost done. Taking too much damage, get him out of there. Why do dwarves who are master defenders have unimpregnable cities, have four main entrances? Take that up with CA, don't take it up with me. Because it's a game? Uh, yeah, that didn't actually go anywhere near as well as I was hoping. We got a Pyrrhic victory, which is what Auto Resolve was going to yield. Although, in Auto Resolve, we would have uh, lost a unit. But unfortunately, we just weren't really able to cheese it. Um, for some reason, they immediately detected our hidden units. Do you know what I think it was? I think it was because they came in as reinforcements. I think that had something to do with it. If maybe they were attached into the main army, they wouldn't have detected. I think that had a had a big factor into why that cheese totally failed. Oh well, it happens. All right, and. Yeah, sack it, because it's going to go down to tier 1 no matter what we do. And occupy it with Greases. Okay. Okay, well that was an interesting... thing. Alright, we still need to keep this guy for baiting this one out. Oh, look at this. They... It, it's it's walled. So... Get rid of this. Um, that means that the army that ran away, it'll be coming back. So I need to... I need to try to ambush it. No, not ambush it. I need to block it off. By standing right there. Otherwise it'll besiege the city. And prevent us from replenishing. So if we stand right here... Greases can reinforce. Hang on. Yeah, if I stand right here, he'll have no choice but to attack us. Try okay. Lord. But yeah, because we got a period victory, we didn't get that much experience. But we got camping. Better camping. And soon, the best camp. And if I had gotten a close victory, I probably would have been able to get that extra Most point. Spoils. Oh, well. Nice and shiny. What do you think about the Ogre economy? I found it very lackluster when I was playing it. Caravans help, but when Cathay died, I find it lacking. Um, I think they make a decent amount of money from their buildings. I don't know. I, I don't know. I think part of the problem is maybe I never get to late campaign. Early game seems fine for them though. Go with this one. Better resources. 
Alright, cool. Although, getting... Yeah, no, we'll get to that eventually. Okay, that's all good. Alright, character Zorn. So yeah, now we now we start focusing on this other enemy over here. I haven't it's heard a peep out of the other guys for a while. And we'll just have to wait and see about that. These guys here still getting us huge amounts of growth. We could easily get our money back into the green by just disbanding these guys here. Like even if I just turn them both off our rating. Yeah, it's it's worth a lot of money. But this is about pop on that growth up. And also, being ready to hit a, um, a, uh, caravan at a moment's notice, because the army's here, ready to go- Not that ready, actually. Put some more, um, put some more ogre boys in there. Cool, alright. I don't think there's anything else we can do, but let me just have a little bit of a check. Several people said Stork does not work in sieges anymore. My meat makes the tribe strong. Was there a patch between today and yesterday? Because, yeah, I noticed that in this siege as well. That they they knew where my, my units were before they were detected. Like, the AI is actually cheating with that. I feel like... And CA has been known to do that kind of stuff. Um, it did seem like the AI just knew where my stalking units were. Roches did it. Yeah. could It could be a, a number of factors. It could have been because they came in as reinforcements. That might have been it. Alright, so they should attack this guy here because they... Alright, that's fine. Wolf's Paul began them for 20 months. Thanks, dude. I appreciate the support. Cool, I had a treaty with them, but who cares? Easy come, easy go. Alright, here comes our first contract. So, we have... Capture Shang Yang for... A Talisman of Preservation. Hmm. That is garbage. Yeah, that's trash. Um, which one's Shang Yang? Okay. All right, I'll I'll do that. Boss of bosses. Alright, that's not really even worth having greases go over there to sort it out. Really? Well, they're in raid stance. We can cheese the ammunition of the Quarreler easily enough. I've got Flock of Doom so that we could do some damage to them. I just don't want to have to bring Greases over here. It's not worth it. Um, I really don't think we're going to struggle with this. And the Lord... 55, 65 to 40... 6,000. Yeah, I don't, I don't see this being a defeat. I think it's just Dwarves getting... Cheats in order resolve. No growth contract. Hmm. Does it I mean there's a talisman of preservation there? Okay, so yeah. What we're gonna do here? Notice sit there. 
Waste the ammunition of the Quarrelers, and then Flock of Doom them. So we'll just uh, generate some magic while that's going on. Oh, they won't shoot at him. Huh. Okay. Alright, fine. Don't shoot at me then. <laughs> I can outrun you, you bitch. You can either shoot me, or don't shoot me. <laughs> They're like, haha! I won't let you waste my ammo. Fine, I'll just kill you for free then. This is what I'm talking about. Whenever Creative Assembly tries to put in, like, anti-cheese, it actually ends up creating more cheese in some situations. The fact that it's... Like, if it had shot at me, it would have done some damage. It wouldn't have been much, but it would have been something. Now it's going to do absolutely none. This is actually worse than wasting their ammo. Because they're... They're going to be dead if this keeps up real soon. Can't catch me, boy. I'm fat as fuck. Too fat and fast. Too fat, too furious. Oh, did you almost get me there? Almost. <laughs> Don't shoot at him! Don't shoot at him! No, we don't want to waste our ammo. But we're dying here! Yeah, no, they're, 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 they're dead. Alright, I got, I got enough in me for one more cast. Alright, cool. Don't really care if they shoot the Lord. Just uh, get rid of them real quick. Yeah, Dwarf Lords though, they're a bit of a problem. <laughs> yeah, just shoot him. Yeah, it doesn't do much damage. But it's better than nothing, and we've got the ammunition, so I might as well use it. Actually, not necessarily. Might be better just go into melee with him. And then have the Ogre cycle charge. Because he does a lot of damage per hit. gonna do is fucking break him. It's not really gonna do anything there. Come on, one or two more hits and we got him. God damn it, he's smacking up my ogre lord. Come on, move, 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 move. Right, there we go. Yeah, the dwarf lords is uh, the hard part there because I can't use my magic to get him. But now we just run him down. I'm not really interested in pursuing him for another battle. There's no point. How could you forget the Nurgle bros? What do you mean? Uh, 
what would you say is your general strategy for determining camp placement to get the most use out of them? I really have a hard time making calls on that. Okay, so two types of camps. Mobile camps and stationary camps. Permanent camps. Perma camps. Alright, so perma camps are in areas of high value that are relatively safe that are able to have a area affecting multiple regions and that is just there to provide you with all of your good recruitment and some money temporary camps are camps that i take with me when i'm going out raiding and pillaging and as soon as i've moved out of its zone of control i just disband the camp and then just rebuild it again elsewhere it costs two grand to do it but it's not that big of a deal So at the moment, I've only got one perma camp, but eventually I'll have more camp capacity. And as Greasus goes out further, he'll have a camp that just always follows him around. It'll be low tier, but it'll provide him with food as needed. Alright, good. That gets rid of them. Alright, let's see if we can manage to ambush this dude if he's still hanging around here. Can't see him. Okay, so we could offer another offering now. Campaign movement range seems like probably the best choice now. Melee attack is good, but at the same time, our army is strong enough that we should be able to beat it anyway. And if we need campaign movement range, this guy's here. Let's got it. Alright, let's get... That he can just with turn his noblars. If he's standing over here in ambush stance, he might attack the Valley of Horns. If he does that, oh well, no big deal. Okay, 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 okay. And at Karakazorn. They get pretty bloody big garrison buildings out of that. That's freaking massive. Look at all those fucking units. Uh, yeah, there's always a chance that these guys might come around this way, so yeah, build up the defenses. We're okay for money. He's making minus 1,500. Okay. Alright, we got six growth over here. Doesn't cost any growth to upgrade this stuff. We're almost able to get Iron Guts. What we'll do, rather than have Greases come back here, just recruit the Iron Guts and transport them over to him. Um, grab that, and money, and... Yep, and yep, and the next growth happens at t in 8 growth, which will happen next turn. So that's good, which wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for these guys being here. You know, in, in that amount of time. Uh... As for other growth buildings, nothing really here that we need. How long does that take to build? Four turns. Okay, that's good. So yeah, if you're wondering what we're doing here, when you're in raid stance, for some reason, it makes your uh, camps grow, which is just weird, but it, that's okay. Second defense building provides growth. Four or three or two and one. You are right. It does provide growth. It's only a little bit of growth. Um, I'd say it's probably more important at this stage here to get seven additional units in the garrison since this is our frontier. Because we'll get extra growth when we come over here and capture this settlement and whatnot. It, it, it'll be fine. But you are you are right. It does provide growth. Um, I know it's not growing that much right now, which is yeah. Just don't don't worry about it right now. Maybe you don't even tax it. Uh, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think we're good to... I could repair this, but it'll just repair on its own, and 
it'll only make... Ah, just do it, whatever, I got the money. Just repair it. Alright, and hopefully we can make it over to here next turn, although I might be a little bit short on... Over tyrant. Greases Galton. Hang on, let me just move a little bit closer then. Chosen. What a lawn ogres! Led by the The same growth as the actual growth building. Up to 30 growth. Yeah, that provides casualty replenishment rate, but you're right, that's that's a shit building. Yeah. Okay, moving on. What's the point of getting the 100 growth bonuses ogres if you only actually collect 20 of it per turn? You can get multiple growth points per turn. So, in the Great Hall of Greece's camp, we've got 45 growth, so we'll gain two growth points. Did they declare war on them? Yeah, they must have... Yeah, they must have just blown that up there. Okay, that's fine. Alright, we just got the casualty replenishment rate. Got camp growth plus 5 here, or bigger spit. If we get bigger spit first, that'll really help with public order. But also help us to get to the ogre throng, which is good. So let's let's do that. If it helps um, ogres, it helps and at the end of the day, we've got the growth here under control pretty well. Alright, and then let's... Okay, good. He can actually make it there. That's good. This should be an easy order resolve. Yeah, they got no defenses there. Easy order resolve. Do you think ogres need a bit of an economy boost or extra camps? Oh uh, yeah, extra camps for sure, which would also give them an economy boost. The meat harvest begins. Oh, that's pretty good. This is our city. Ours. The over tyrant. Yeah, that's pretty good. That gives him regen. Okay, good. Too rich to walk. Follow the meat stitch. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, we're not within range of the camp, but if he stands here, yeah, look, he's in range of the camp there. Which means he'll actually gain food. And extra replenishment. Uh, yeah, how about you force march? No, no, you, you, you stay right where you are. You stay right there. In fact, move a little bit closer. We might be able to lure that guy to make a silly attack. Let me just see this. Now, we get more replenishment, but we will consume food. We've got 216 food, though, so that's plenty. I don't think we need to worry about it. Yep, that building's fine. Alright, let's have a look at this. Yep, it's all good. No landmark in the dwarf hold? Nah, it's gone. Hey, I can confederate these guys. The eye biters. That's interesting. Um, I don't know if it's worth doing it because I'll just get like some minor settlement and no camps. So why bother? Just leave them. If they're gonna get wrecked by the black, uh, what they call the Darkland orcs, just forget it. 
It's just not a worthy confederation, just who cares. What happens when an army runs out of meat? Does it suffer penalties like attrition? I think so, yeah. I think I think something like that. I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever run out of meat. But I think, yeah, it starts taking attrition. Alright, there we go. Get the best camping. And now we can get a second camp. Now. Alright, i got to decide where to put the second camp. Um, I could actually put another camp in this. I can't put it... Too close to another camp. What would happen if we put two camps in the same region? Would we be able to grow them like doubly fast because of this? Is that a good idea? It would give us insane recruitment in the area. I'm gonna see if I can do it. I have no idea. Let's just see what I can do here. Man, these traits fucking suck! Let me just see. Right, no, you can't deploy another camp in the same region. Right, I was just curious about that. Um, I'll let this guy raid. We're, we're still okay for money. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Alright. Where do I want to put this other camp down? Probably in locations where there's actually going to be um, caravans come through. Vale of Titans is one such area. So we could put... No, no, no. Blood Peak. Blood Peak. That's where, that's where the caravans go. Overlapping two camps from close regions by regions. Yeah, yeah. I could put one over over here, I suppose. I could do that. Yeah. All right. Let's let's put a camp over here. If I can. This way. No, I'm too close. Ah, oh, it's too close. Um, shit, it's not gonna work. And now this guy here isn't within range to be able to to raid this now. Just, you just go away. Hmm. I got. I gotta figure something out with that. You can pop it down your neighbors, and you wouldn't suffer raiding penalties. Hmm, yeah, but, yeah, they'd hate me, but, yeah, you're, you're not wrong. If, if I put it over here, that is. It's what I want. Yeah, I'll need to figure something out with that. I'll definitely need to figure something out. I'm just not sure where the best place to put it is right now. Moving on. Haven't seen any caravans come down this way in a while, so money's starting to get a little bit iffy. You're a problem. Pro mm. All 
We're about to have a revolt here too. Trying to figure out how we're going to handle this. So. How strong are they? We're stronger than them. I missed the super chat. Sorry. Uh, Decky Morgs did a five pound super chat. Are there any games you're looking forward to coming out in the future? Um, uh, nothing really is drawing my attention at the moment. So I've been keeping an eye on Mana Lords, but I don't know. Mana Lords. I'm a bit iffy on it, but it, it is at the very least interesting. Uh, I could have gotten a demo, but I didn't apply for it. I, I just couldn't be bothered. The over tyrant. But yeah, thanks for the chat. Do you mind if I ask you for advice on something real life related on Discord after the stream? If you want, but you know, you gotta figure these things out for yourself, dude. But if you want, you can always ask me stuff. Hold master, boss. Uh, I actually no. As soon as the stream ends, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be pretty busy. I've I've got some other stuff going on. I, you can ask it, but uh, you may not get a response right away. I'll try to get to it whenever I can, though. Okay. Master. Yeah. Well, we've got uh, we've got incoming over here from. From Ask this. Another. What about the new Warhammer Forty K game coming out in the next month? Oh, uh, Dark Tide. Nah, Dark like. Leader of the tribe. Uh, Dark Tide. Let's see. I'm, I'm not super excited about it, to be honest. Not super excited about it. Like it's. I just don't know how to say it, I just, uh... Like, it seems fine. But my level of excitement is, like, literally zero. Um, have you tried Knights of the Toxic God? Very cheesy. No, I haven't tried that. Yeah, but nothing, nothing is really drawing my interest at the moment. Alright. Alright, a Karak Krakaten. Since it's now a border region, we should probably get the defenses up there. The magic of me. Alright, and I need this guy here to just keep an eye out over here. So we're no longer raiding to get growth. I need you to tell me. Okay. I refuse. I right, there's no way that this guy here can launch an attack on Karak Cracker 10 this coming turn, but it looks like fucking two full stacks are on their way. If this guy just stays close by over here, um, if they come up this way, at least we got some intel there, we can launch the attack. We, we can pick up the garrison from, sorry, the, um, the camp, um, Troops, get a garrison, I guess, and uh, come down over here and stop them. Maybe. So you just stay there, don't don't raid. So we're not getting as much growth, but you know we're pretty good for growth now. Now we've got a bit of an emergency on our hands. Um, I'll need another lord here though. Oh yeah, I'll get a tyrant. Uh, we need people to just scout ahead. That's really important. Keep an eye on things while we're out here fighting. Have you checked Terra Invicta? Uh, I did look into it a little bit. Um, it seems interesting, but... I don't know. I don't know. I think I think one thing you got to understand, guys, is like... I'm, 
it's this is a difficult time to like get into new games um, for me personally. LF Graves is a two euro super chat. Imagine being excited about video games in 2022. Yeah, that's that's part of the problem. Thanks super chat. <laughs> it's I'm a fucking numb. Okay, I'm really numb to hype. Um, I just don't get my hopes up anymore at all. So, uh, there, there probably are some good games out there, but, you know, the experience with Warhammer 3 has left me on extreme caution that I just, I don't know if I'm really willing to even try new things now. I just don't know. Oh, look. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, hang on. Reese's can't get there, though. And he can. The slower master abides. Okay. Well, I can't just besiege it. No one tells a Okay. And Greasus will come in at about the same time as this dude. I will butcher any who in the field. Oh, that's not as. I think I know what I need to do. If I transfer this guy into here. The volcano will send us gifts. Trade Lord, Tribe Stealer, hold. Because, yeah, it's not a proper settlement. You can't just besiege it. Alright, Croesus, go stand there. Move your leg, mate. Consume. Alright, we'll see how this goes. Launch the attack there. That way he can't run away. Uh, we might be better off just auto resolving that actually. That way, we wipe it out completely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, on, on the on the subject of new games, it's just um, uh, it's just it's just hard to get into anything new these days. It really is. Um, you know, I'm I'm just really numb to this kind of stuff now. Just really, really numb to it. Okay. What we could do here is pop down. I think Legend would enjoy DayZ even though he doesn't like shooters. If I don't like shooters, why would I like DayZ? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Yeah, I know there's a lot of games coming out at the moment. Um. I was thinking about maybe getting um, uh, cy Cyberpunk. Just thinking about it. But... I don't know, man. I'm just... I, I think I'm, I'm actually losing interest in games. In general. I'm just getting numb to it now. Okay, so... That one could probably be a permacamp if we wanted it to. And that way, Greasus, if we stand right here, we should still get quite a bit of... It's the same amount. That's fine. Did I play Elden Ring? I did play it a little bit. I couldn't get into it. And then, yeah, get the growth building there. Um, Cyberpunk, save yourself the time and skip. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Slow we'll see. Master, tribe lord. What about Victoria 3? No, I'm not interested in Victoria 3. I'm not interested. I am the tenderizer. You know, I just see a lot of these games coming out and just nothing... Nothing is just honestly just um, making me excited. Absolutely nothing. Uh, Eduardo Juarez, the channel subject. Maybe you just need a vacation for one or three. Maybe a break from games in general. Maybe. Maybe. That could be it. Maybe. 
Any chance we get to see a satisfactory build? No, I don't see the point. No, that's a great way to kill the channel, I think. Mana Lords. Well, um, I've been watching a little bit of the gameplay, and honestly, I found watching it really boring. So, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's still in early days with it. And I just don't know. I don't know. It just... I don't see anything in Mana Lords yet that makes me really excited. Nothing, nothing yet. But I am keeping an eye on it, and if I see something that I'm like, ooh, that seems interesting, then I'll probably leap at it, but it just hasn't happened yet. Um, has your Skyrim horde grown since last time? No, I haven't been playing Skyrim. Alright, we'll see how that goes. So, take out the Veil of Titans that secures the entire province. And then we'll make our way down here. Yeah. Uh, how are we going for revolt here? Okay, it's, it's not going to revolt just yet. Also, I did turn off the taxes here. We can probably tax it now. Um, three turns, we'll get a fairly big public order bonus. Now let's move on. These days, it's always the same stuff. Always beta, loads of DLC, full packed with bugs, released four to five years after the trailer video dropped. Yeah, there is a lot of that kind of stuff going on. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really... I don't know how to articulate how I feel about all this stuff at the moment. Like, I'm really just trying to, to work and just trying to deliver content. And I don't have a lot of spare time to um, play games in my spare time. Especially play new games. And... Um, it, it's a combination of being time poor and being completely jaded and uh, like numb to the games industry at the moment. I just feel like games companies are just getting more and more scummy as time goes on and the quality is dropping and that indie developers are doing some good work, but I just don't get excited for it. Still enjoying Rift Breaker, having time myself. Time myself. I've had time to play it recently, but yeah, I, I do enjoy it. Hope he plays Dark Tide. I'm probably not going to cover Dark Tide. What are they doing? Want everything. Move it. All right. Like I said, I just need to be checking where they are each turn. All right. I should be able to force no march back summer. here with them no. unable to attack us. Yeah, that's fine. Just keeping an eye on them constantly. The and you may go into raid stance now. there. Everything. Here comes Kugath too. Well, that, uh, he usually goes up against Caravan of the Blue Roses first, so... There we go, we can get him to bully them. Cool. <laughs> there we go, there's a contract for Kugath. So maybe that'll keep... Keep him busy a little bit. He might prioritize me, but we just gotta keep an eye on it. A lot of people have Vidya fatigue right now. Yeah, and I think I'm, I'm suffering from that as well. There's no guts bigger. Yeah, just massive Master fatigue. Butcher. Did you ever buy Hearthstone packs? I'm not interested in Hearthstone. Alright, let's come over here and sort this out. The more guides us. Oh, succeed. Suffer a fair bit in order to resolve. Oh, 
Go. The tyrant greases Galto. Alright, what are we doing now? So we got that stuff there. Give, uh, giving him extra speed would help him out a fair bit. We haven't got any of his, um... We haven't got any banners for him yet, do we? Like, fast banners. No, nothing yet. So, let's go with, uh... Greased Noblars. Yeah, that'll do. Mine. I'll eat any challenger. More meat for my grinder. Mm, still waiting on the bloody, uh... The things to come over here. I, haven't see I kind of feel like if you raid camps... Uh, sorry, raid camp, raid caravans a few times, then the AI sort of wisens up a little bit and doesn't send them that way for a little while. Deep Rock Galactic is amazing. Um, I played Deep Rock Galactic, Galactic when it first came out and wasn't super into it, but, you know, if it, that was years ago, so... Um, okay, I'm just gonna disband all this shit. This would be a good location for a perma camp. Yeah, that would be a good location. So we need to go down over here and take Shang Yang, which will give us a talisman of preservation. That's the next thing we're gonna do. And we just wiped out that other. Yep, we just wiped out that tribe. Okay. Just gotta keep an eye out on these guys here. Leader of the tribe. And everything should be fine. Alright, uh, nothing else to do here. Let's just move on. And let's get... Oh, hang on. If I go back to here... I ain't gonna roll over. Right. Maybe don't raid then. And yeah, I think I'll need the control and growth here. Okay, and let's move on. Shouldn't be able to reach me. Okay, that's fine. So they're on their way here. I might need to pull the um, the garrison down here to protect Karak Krakatan because I think it's one more turn until that's developed. Mm. Oh, look, he's at war with Greasus. Ah, uh, sorry, Greasus. Grimgore. So he probably will want to um, uh, confederate with us at some point, or at the very least, just get wiped out. So I'll pop that down on him. What do you look forward to the most after streaming retirement? Uh, I don't know, man. Actually having time to do things. Not working all the time. With the rate at which you are running through Warhammer 3 cam campaigns, would you play Dark Elf High Elves or would you only play as Warhammer 2? Okay, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I am, in the current state of Warhammer 3, never going to touch the Dark Elves or High Elves. I'll do disaster battles if they're sent in, but I am not personally going to cover them in Warhammer 3. They are in an absolutely unacceptable state, in my personal opinion, and I refuse... Oh god, we're going to be in two locations. I just refuse to cover Dark Elves and High Elves in Warhammer 3. Absolutely refuse. Um, look, here's, here's the thing, guys. Things you got to keep in mind. Um, we're in a bit of a difficult spot with Warhammer 3, and it's been a constant struggle throughout the year. Um, I'm doing the best I can. I, I'm, I'm really trying as hard as I can. But the way to go forward, if we're going to even cover Warhammer 3, 
is to only stick to the campaigns that I want to play. Any campaigns that I don't enjoy, I'm not going to cover. Dark Elves are fine, man. What the fuck? Yeah, but I don't enjoy them. Okay, the point is... Look, you, you might like the Dark Elves, and that's cool. But I don't like the Dark Elves in Wormer 3. They're boring as hell. I don't like the High Elves in Wormer 3. Boring as hell. Okay, if I'm going to play the Dark Elves or the High Elves, I will play them in Warhammer 2, because I think that they are way more enjoyable in Warhammer 2. Um, now, if you don't want to watch Warhammer 2, then that's fine. I just want to cover them. Okay? But if I play a campaign that I don't enjoy, I will get super grumpy. Okay? I'll get really bored, and I'll get super grumpy, and then people will be like, Err, why is he being grumpy? Why doesn't he just pretend to have fun? So, the best course of action in that regard is to just not cover them. Okay? There is just no point. Um, so, I'm only picking the campaigns that I enjoy. Now, also got to keep in mind that interest in Warhammer 3 is also plummeting at the moment. Abs it is free-falling about f as fast as it was in Realm of Chaos. Like, I'm fucking panicking here, right? <laughs> panicking. Because, like, I, I'm at the point where I don't know if I can even justify live streaming anymore. At all. Uh, because it's, it's just, like, free-falling so fast. Um, uh, and that's not your fault, but I don't know if I can continue to live streaming Warhammer 3. I just don't know. I don't know if I can. It's killing the channel. I'm doing the best I can. I'm, I'm really friggin' trying. But... People are just not interested anymore. I'm trying. Whatever I decide. Find me a oh, no, no, no. oh, that's a lot more than I thought. The great okay, hang on. I can still go into ambush dance there. I bow only before the Am I still in range of this? Yeah, yeah, okay, that's good. Butcher in chief. I'm surprised it's waning in popularity. I can't get enough of it. Well, it, it depends. It, it's waning in popularity on the channel, okay? It's like, it is dying so fast on the channel. Um, I am really running close to not covering it anymore. Okay, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best to get people's interest, but it, I don't know if I can keep it up. Like, I'm, we're talking like a couple of days. If things don't pick up in a couple of days, I have to just abandon Warhammer 3. Utterly. Until things pick up again, because uh, it's... It's not good. Like, just just take take this uh, campaign into uh, consideration. We're currently sitting at 2,250 concurrence. That is 500 less concurrence than the episode 1 of the Wood Elf campaign, which was two days ago. Three days ago, right? And that was 500 concurrence less than the previous one. So we're, we're decaying at a rate of 500 viewers every two days. Okay? This is a catastrophic degrees of, of like, loss. Catastrophic. Right? Um, basically, I am watching the channel, in terms of analytic, free, like, nosedive to a degree that I have not seen since Realms of Chaos. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So yeah, I'm I'm not gonna basically I'm not gonna be playing campaigns I don't wanna play. You know. Like I enjoy ogres. I don't enjoy um dark elves or high elves. Alright, what I'm gonna do here, get rid of that. We've got ten units at the Great Hall of Greece's camp, and that's only a few dudes there. I'm gonna need to grab this one. But you know, like like I said, I'm doing do the best I can. I'll try and keep you guys entertained. Okay, what we want to do here is actually go into Ambush Dance. Yeah. So they actually launch the attack. And I need to put a Lord over here. But and, and another thing I want to point out. It is totally fine if you guys are just not interested in Warhammer 3 content. That is all good. It's not. I'm not blaming you guys at all. My job is to try to get you interested in watching the channel. You know? And if I'm failing in some regard, you know, let me know why. But I'm, I am trying my best. Not you, it's the game. And you know what? That is, that's fine. I'm more than happy to switch the game. 
everything. I'm not I particularly explore. attached to Warhammer 3. I'm not particularly attached to it. You know? If it's the game, and like if like for example, if I go back to Warhammer 2 and Warhammer 2 does better than Warhammer 3, great. I'll play Warhammer 2. I got no problem with that. Must face. Uh Parentis Dubois did a five euro super chat. Uh Adler Chat Award, just stream what you enjoy. That's what we like most because that's when you have fun, you entertain us. At least I feel this. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's, that's why I'm trying to play the campaigns that I want to play and avoid the ones that I don't want to play. Otherwise you get do you guys who was here during the Manfred uh, live stream? Who enjoyed watching me whinge about how boring it was? You know, that I wanna point out that I enjoy Manfred's campaign more than High Elves and Dark Elves. I don't enjoy those two. In Warhammer 3. They're just really dull campaigns. In my for me at least. Alias Baby did two pounds super chat, it's not your fault. Warhammer 3 is really stale at the moment. Yep, that's and that's that's valid for sure. Thanks for super chat. But like I said, it's my job to try to entertain you guys. I'm struggling because I can see it. There's a lot of discontent. But the thing is, I'm not gonna know what to do if I don't discuss this stuff with you guys. Um I'm not trying to be negative. I have no. I am more than happy to play Warhammer 3 every single day if that entertains you guys. But if it doesn't, I'm also more than happy to ditch it. Alright. We should be able to take that army and beat that. I don't like to ditch out advice, but you haven't played any Chaos Factions. I did, I played Bellicor. Ah, oh, an ambush fail. Doesn't matter. It's still, it was, whatever. Missed my super chat. Sorry, um, the chat went pretty quick. I'll get you a super chat. Uh, which one was it? Feshen did a five dollar super chat. Think your personal enjoyment may change if the updates to AI aggression and reduction to the frequency of settlement sieges are well implemented. Um, maybe. Depends on how. Thanks, super chat. Um. Eli Leister did a 5 pounds super chat. Still best upside down streamer. Alright, thanks, dude. Eduardo Juarez did a 5 dollars chat. Have you considered mods? I know you said previously that's not your thing. Thanks, super chat. Uh, okay. So, in regard to mods, I don't personally enjoy playing mods. Okay? Unless it's something that is like the Nagash mod, I don't personally enjoy mods at all. Alright? Whenever I put mods in a game, I get bored really quickly. Really, really quickly. Now, I'm more than happy to cover mods if I feel like you guys would be entertained by them. However, from a historic point of view of the channel, anytime I put any mods onto the onto a campaign, it always has lower interest. With the exception of something like Nagash's mod. So, putting mods is not a way to fix the situation. At least not for this channel. We've tried it many times before, it's never worked. Um, Dossication Station... Hang on, um... Should I fight this manually? I gotta got actually do some gameplay, I can't just keep reading the chat. Um, I'll, I'll come back to that in a second. Yeah, I'll fight it manually. Um, in line with elves a bit, I maintain viewership when you're having fun. Sometimes that means you play my fave, sometimes no, play what you enjoy. Alright, thanks dude, thanks for the chat. So yeah, it's it's just a bit of a mixed thing at the moment. Um, it's really hard to pinpoint what's going wrong because honestly, I'm getting feedback from all over the place. Um, feedback from people being like, "Quit witching about Warhammer 3." Feedback from people saying that they don't even want to watch Warhammer 3. Um, people want to see mods. People don't want to see mods. It's um, it's really hard to determine what the right thing to do is, and that's probably why it looks like I'm so frustrated because it's like Warhammer 2 was so easy to cover because I just played a campaign and everyone came and watched it was easy but this is not what happens anymore the yeah. and I think it's another thing that's really important to keep in mind is that you know I'm not gonna stream something that I enjoy for like a hundred viewers Okay, I just, I'm just not going to do that. So just keep that stuff in mind, that I'm not here for fun. I, I need to be enjoying it, but if I'm only having fun, 
I, I'm just not going to live stream at all. Okay, we need to wait for reinforcements. Leader of okay. As a streamer, your enthusiasm is shared with your views it viewers. If you're enthusiastic, people will mimic your enthusiasm. Yes, that's a good point, but it's also the other way around. My enthusiasm is linked to you guys. When you guys are unenthusiastic, I get unenthusiastic. When you guys start bitching in the chat, I start bitching as well. You know, sometimes you guys get me started, you know. Somebody, somebody says something that uh, gets under my skin, and then I'm like, I go on a rant about it. So it works both ways. This is what I call the negative feedback loop, which is what's going on with Warhammer 3. It's a negative feedback loop. I'm trying my best to try to avoid it, but it's just everywhere. There's so much negative energy with Warhammer 3. Even with the Mortal Empires ads, there's so much of it. Um, Off I go. And this was the great thing about Warhammer 2. It, um, it, just, it, it just worked. It just worked. Uh, Shank said a five dollar super chat. It's a shame because all the new excited content is Warriors of Chaos, but as you said, you don't cover the same race twice, so you just did Bellacore. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, thanks for the chat. I don't know. I'm just. Yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> in regard in regard to the um, Warriors of Chaos, I'll, I'll probably cover them again at some point. Just gotta hold out until DLC FLC. It's gonna be a while until then. That's a really long time. It's a yeah. It's, shit, they moved away. My blood burns. All together. Yes. Next deal is in November. No man, it could be later than that. It could be later than that. I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. I reckon the issue will subside once Warhammer 3 is patched to the same level as Warhammer 2. Yeah, but the problem with that is that it hasn't happened. Like, that's. You're probably looking at, like, years before that happens. Like, that's not going to be next patch. That's uh, years away. Um, I don't have time to wait. you gotta, you got to keep in mind, guys. Like, time is up. Like, um... Yeah, time is just up. Warhammer 3 doesn't need to be good two years from now. It needs to be good now, because I'm not going to be around two years from now. This is it. I'm going to be gone by then. Alright, that is not a great situation here. They've got us pinned down and shooting at us. i got to push right through. And I, I agree. I totally agree. I reckon in a few years, Warhammer 3 will be better than Warhammer 2. But it's, it's just not there yet now. That's the problem. So it's, a, it's absolutely no comfort to know that two or three years from now, Warhammer 3 will be great. That's cool. In two or three years, you know, we pick things back up there. But until then, I gotta fucking struggle. Maybe do another Total War campaign? No, man. It's like what I said before. I'm not doing any campaigns that I don't enjoy. I don't enjoy the Total War campaigns. I only do them um, during high times when uh, the like viewership is high. Otherwise, like this Total War campaigns are some of the least enjoyable campaigns to do. That's why I didn't do like the Reichland This Is Total War um, challenge because. I tell you what, if you want me to take a two-month vacation, um, then that's the campaign that will do it. Because, <laughs> like, I can't think of anything that I want to do less than a This Is Total War Reichland campaign. I'd rather just 
I'd just rather not do... I, I, I just won't want to play the game at all after something like that. I won't find that fun. What was the last of the Total War campaigns you did? It was Cetra. Cetra, this is Total War. This guy's taking a fair bit of damage. Some wins. I should get him over here. Flaming footsteps. The strongest, the fattest, crunch their skulls. I would say play new factions to get more viewers, but not a ton. What do you mean by new factions, though? Do you mean like the Warriors of Chaos ones? Ah, uh, we'll see. Maybe, maybe we cover them next. Maybe. Honestly, I think you need a month or two break. I t I'll tell you right. I'll tell you right now, dude. If I take a month off, I will literally never come back. Okay, just keep that in mind. All right. The moment I stop streaming, the the next time I stop streaming and take like a week off, that I will never come back. Just keep that in mind. The last time I I took a uh, serious time off. Do you remember? It was September last year. The last time I took serious time off. I actually decided that it was time to stop streaming. If I didn't take that time off, I might not have decided to stop streaming. You just got to keep in mind that I'm hanging on by such a th tiny thread that if I take a sufficient enough time off, I will literally, not figuratively, I will never come back. Okay, just keep that in mind. <laughs> okay, if I, if like I said, <laughs> taking time off, you'll never see me again. Um, Alias Baby did a five pound super chat. Firstly, feel Wormer 3 feels tainted from launch. I'm looking forward to new content and good historical title in the future, but I just feel shy. Yeah, I feel you do. Thanks, Super Chat. Yeah, look, Immortal Empires is not bad, but I, I see what you mean by, by tainted. Maybe that's why people aren't viewing as much, since people know you're leaving. So, would it have been better to just not tell you guys then? I don't know. I've always been honest with you guys about that stuff. Is that, that seems a bit weird. It seems a bit weird to... Like, I'm still here now. But yeah, to say that this year has been shit is the understatement of the century for this channel, at least. At least. It's been such a shit year. People are being kept in the dark. <laughs> but you gotta not punish people for uh, being honest with you. How come you're going to stop soon? Uh, okay. There's, look, I'm, when, when it comes time, I'm going to, I'm going to do a, like, an FAQ video, and I'll explain the exact reasons, but I feel like if I tell you guys the reasons now, it's probably not a good idea, but I've got a lot of reasons why I'm going to stop streaming. There's a lot of reasons. Um, so when, when it does actually happen, I'll release the video, otherwise I've just got to keep rehashing it over and over again. BH the final submission. I think you're doing the best. Wormit 3 is just too easy and stale. If you move from Wormit 3 into a patch, releases I wouldn't mind. Thanks for the years. Yeah, I think it's a bit I might do that. How do we know Wormit 3 is going to be good in two years? It still might be shit. Well, it's not shit now. It's just that it's just not as good as what Wormit 2 was. That's all. Legend, you're upset today. Welcome to the help. I'm not upset. I'm not upset. I'm just explaining to you guys what's going on. Like, I, I feel like if I'm transparent with you guys, that we can sort of talk about it and sort of figure it out. But 
Um, like I just, I just try to be honest with you guys about uh, the situation. Like I let you guys know that, you know, I, I spend a lot of time each day analyzing the channel. Um, I'm not angry with you guys at all. It's nothing with you. But you know, I look at the video uploads and I look at the live stream data, and I'm just letting you guys know, like no matter what I do, um, it seems like people are just abandoning the live streams really, really quick. Um, which makes me not want to live stream. That's I'm just being tra like transparent with you guys. The 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 quicker that people um, abandon the live streams, I, I it makes me not want to live stream. You know, it you know um, it doesn't make me upset about. Well, I guess it makes me a little bit upset about it. Uh, but that's just the reality of it. I'm I'm trying to do my best to keep people interested, as I said, but I I just can't do it. Um, in good hands, 67 to 25 dollars super chat. Hey bud, been playing for about a month now. This game would be unplayable for me without your vids. Cheers. Alright, thanks dude, I appreciate that. I actually think it would have been better you wouldn't have told that you... St Sorry, let me reread that. Actually, I think it would have been better you wouldn't have told that you stop. I know English isn't your first language, dude. Um, let me just reinterpret that. I understand what you're trying to say there. It, you would have been better if I didn't tell you guys that I was going to stop. It was a very bad Christmas for me and probably bad for your viewer numbers. Uh, in hindsight, it may have been a poor idea to let you guys know that I was going to retire. But cat's out of the bag. And I've always tried to be transparent with you guys. Um... The decision was final. Like, nothing was going to change it. Um, and I think it would have been bad. Uh, would, would not have been fair of me to keep you guys in the dark about it for an entire year. Only to, like, just drop it on you at the very last second. But at the same time, if people abandon the channel because... Like, if they abandon the channel early because I said I was going to retire. From streaming, by the way, not from videos. Um, I feel like that's also, like, that was kind of a, like, this, that wasn't very nice, but whatever, I don't know. At least baby did a five pounds of chat. Yeah, when I say Wormer 3, feel shot, I mean compared to Wormer 2. Transparency is cathartic, dude. It's good to get it off your chest. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate some chat. And yeah, I agree. Alright, cool. Lots of people working from office again could be a factor here too. No, dude. I'm telling you, it's the fucking game. <laughs> like, it's the game. It's the game. Because, like, I've been talking to, like, other streamers as well, and they're like, yeah, Wormer 3, con like, videos are plummeting in popularity. Absolutely plummeting. And it's like, it's, across it's not just me, it's across the board, so... Like, I'm trying to keep it going as long as I can. But, you know, when I do these streams and I see the drop-off, like, oh man, it just fucks with my head so much. It's, it's really hard to, like, do these streams <laughs> when, 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 when the channel decays, like, at such a rapid rate. Like, you always expect a little bit of decay here and there, but at such a rapid rate, it just makes... It's so difficult to actually be a streamer. This will bring me spoils. Why don't you diversify the channel, cover some other games to get more viewers? Uh, because that's not what I wanted to do. I just wanted to play Total War. Alright, let's have a look here. You're so grumpy always in your live stream. Uh, I, I, I'm, I don't think I'm being grumpy here. And I've always been that way. So, I don't know. Missed a super chat. Sorry. No, I didn't. Oh, wait, did I? I think I got him. What the fuck are you on about? You got 2k people here and it's a Monday. Okay, let me tell you right now, this is one of the worst performing live streams in the history of the channel. One of the worst. Okay. 
consume. Like in terms of like looking at the analytics, I'm like just like just I'm just like fuck it. I'm just gonna turn the stream off, you know? It's not even worth being here, sort of thing. So don't don't sit there and tell me everything is fine when it isn't. Like I'm just gonna turn off the stream soon, sort of thing. Dude, I beg you, shut up and please please dude. No. No. You know what? Like I said, I've had the worst fucking year ever. Okay? I have to put up with you guys trolling me constantly, fucking with me, all this kind of shit. And I have a bad year, and you're like, just fuck up and shut up and play the game. You shut up You fuck off if you're going to be like that. I'm having a hard time. Okay? If you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. Mr. Hamtastic, the attendance of the shit. If Wormer 3 let me play parts 125, I'd definitely be more interested in watching. Might be something other people fear. Maybe. Yeah, thanks to be chat. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. I don't even get to turn 60 all the time. Mask faced. And like I said, I just try to be honest with you guys, let you guys know when things are going wrong, okay? Things are things are very wrong at the moment. This is where we're headed like this is what's happening with the channel right now is as bad as Realms of Chaos. It's it's really bad, okay? Okay. Like I said, if you if you want to keep pushing me, I'll I'll just leave and I won't come back. It's fine. That's what you guys are doing to me every single day. You push me away, and I'm eventually just not going to come back. You know, one of these days, it, it, I, I was going to try to last the rest of the year, but I'm at the point where a couple of days from now, I might just not live stream again. I'm really, really close. Oh, it's just so not. It's just, this is just fucked. Uh, Suppy did a fifty dollars super chat. Do us best for you. That's really generous of you, dude. I, I, I really appreciate that. Thanks for the the super chat. That's really generous. Why is he tilting so much? Uh, yeah, I'll explain again. Oh, look, there's this over here, and there's one over here. To, to explain it, I'm gonna have to miss out on that one, or else I won't be able to... I won't be able to reach them anyway. I am no one's slave. Are we still within the zone of control of this? No. Maybe try to focus on making videos? Yeah, the videos are doing way better than live streams. Way better. No, I can't really go after that caravan, or else I won't be able to get this done. I'm gonna have to let that one slide. Sometimes you just gotta pick your battles. You just gotta pick your battles. Okay, put that back in case this army. We shall shower in treasures! Consume. I think you can force march to the second battle. No, because n no one's able to launch the attack. Uh, Lemon Pleasure, the channel super chat. It was because of you that I started a channel and got into streaming. I get where you're coming from and hope the best for you. You've done tons for Warhammer and the community in general. Cheers. Thanks, dude. I appreciate that. Shit, man. Jonathan Lamb did a $500 super chat. Hey, man, I was saving this for your last for you last stream thanks for teaching me how to play for years of content are you taking bribes for your last stream no i'm not taking bribes but that's a dude you should not be super chatting that much that is ridiculous i really appreciate that it feels like a bit of a pity super chat <laughs> i feel like i've actually guilted you into it but that is that is unbelievably generous that's ri that's ridiculous but yeah that's um Yeah, that's that's absolutely tons. Thanks for the super chat. Thing is, it's not about the money. It's not about the money. 
Like, I get it. Huge super chat. That was, I really do appreciate that. But it literally doesn't change my mind about how things are going. You know? I, I do... Uh, it, yeah. It doesn't change my mind because it's not about the money. At all. Like, even, even after that $500 super chat, I still don't want to be here. But I really do appreciate it. I don't want to seem like I'm ungrateful. Lemon Pledge made my $10 one look silly. That's awesome. Like, it's not about the figure. I, I appreciate Lemon Pledge. It's not about the, the amount. I'm sorry for my stress-inducing behavior. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, Wolf Paul. You give me the shits most of the time. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest with you, dude. You give me the absolute shits. But my, if you know, we're just gonna be honest. Um, Alias Baby did a five pound super chat. I support you, dude. Whatever you decide to do, you're the only Total War creator I watch. Okay, dude, I appreciate that. Alex C did a five dollar super chat. We love you, legend. All right, thanks, dude. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, Wolf Paul. I'd like just not just let you go. No, you have been that close to getting banned on several occasions. Because of your bullshit. That close. The over tyrant. What about me? What do I do for you? you you're fine. You're fine. You're, you're not constantly emailing me. It's all good. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. Play a WoW. I don't like World of Warcraft. Uh, this one here... Let's... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to get this guy. It was only ever supposed to be temporary. Missile resistance might be good. Maybe go down the magic line? I don't know. More flesh will be carved. But yeah, I do- I really do appreciate all that generosity in the chat. You guys really don't owe me anything. Okay? Skaven Dan became a member for two months, Evening Legend and Co. Alright, thanks, dude. No, thanks for the membership, dude. Dude, me. I appreciate that. Uh, what if you try streaming multiple platforms like Facebook and YouTube? No, I tried that. Uh, that is not gonna work. No, no, no I, I tried that. <laughs> I've, I've tried a fixed. lot of things. But yeah, multi-streaming platform is okay when you're first starting off, but it, if you're established, it's a bad idea. What I did was I, I streamed on three platforms at once. Uh, I only did it for a little while because it was such a catastrophe. Um, I streamed on YouTube, Twitch, and DLive. And what ended up happening is that most of the viewers were on YouTube, and so that's where I was focusing my attention. But the people on DLive and Twitch felt neglected because I couldn't read their chat. Because, you know, it was going up really slowly. I just wasn't reading it. And they were just getting pissed at me. Uh, it just wasn't worth it. And uh, so I just I turned off the... Um, I just, yeah, just multi-streaming just wasn't good. Alright, cool. So we took out the vampire accounts there. But expect more. To show up pretty soon. I gotta quickly go and deliver these uh, forces back over there. The next growth point happens at... 16 growth. Alright, this one here... Right. Stand there, but just raid. We gotta get that growth going in here. Yeah, get that growth. There's the iron guts. There are tools so you can use multiple chats in one window. Uh, okay, okay. Look, I. I do not want to multi-stream, okay? It is so much extra stress at absolutely no channel growth. It is not worth it, okay? I appreciate the idea. I tried it. It was not a good idea. Hang in there. Twitch is going in the shitter. I think there's going to be a lot of people head to YouTube. 
I think, we'll see. Uh, Soppy did a $20 super chat. So no streams of videos, yes. I'm in Canada, and most of the streams I missed due to the times here. Yeah. Like I said, an FAQ will come out. Don't, look, the channel's not dead. I know a lot of people say dead channel. The channel's not dead. Okay, you gotta understand why I was live streaming. Live streaming is a very interesting thing, um, different to videos. Oh my gosh. You guys need to slow down on the super chats. I can't play the game and talk about this stuff. Uh, Waka did a 135. Sorry, Waka135 did a photo subject. We send the wholesome below for our cheese lord. Did you happen to try a new patch of Conan? Yes, I did try a new patch. I didn't really like it very much. I played it for a couple of hours and was like, eh, pay to win garbage. So I didn't I didn't play it. I wasn't I wasn't a huge fan of the um, the new magic stuff. Um, Eduardo Juarez became a member for nine months. Uh, love your content. My dog recently passed away, so you're helping with my content. Thank you. Thanks for the membership, dude. Appreciate that. Um, th God damn. You guys need to slow down a little bit. Try okay, so, as I was saying, I'm trying to help you guys understand, because I think a lot of people just don't really understand what it's like to be in this position as a streamer. Um, you know, it might seem like, why is he complaining? It's a dream job. He plays games for a living. Why is he always whinging? And I understand that mindset completely. Sometimes I, I like, I come here and be like, I should be so grateful and happy to be in the position that I'm in. But I'm miserable all the fucking time. Like, just, it's just a miserable existence. It's so weird. Like, I should be thrilled, but I'm fucking miserable. How the fuck does that happen? Um... That's because live streaming got numb, okay? Just like anything in life, if you do something to a certain degree for a long enough time, you will get numb to it. Um, imagine getting a nine-month membership. No, 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 no. It means he's been a membership for nine months. That's what it means. He can cancel next month if he wants to. That's all it means. So you get numb to it, right? And the problem is, like, 2020... And 2021 was so fucking good, right? They were really good years. And it was followed by 2022, right? And so you have two amazing years followed by the biggest pile of shit. I got fucking fisted by, by this year, you know? It was such a bad year, right? Oh my god, was it a bad year. And it just soured everything you know and it's you know you take it in terms of perspective when you keep looking back at 2020 and 2021 and think oh man that was such good years and then you look at this year and be like man i fucking hate this year i just wish i i wish i retired last year you know i wish i, I wish i could go back in time and just like quit in january tell ca to fuck off and just have nothing to do with this project whatsoever Get it. That's what I wish I had done. But of course, how the fuck was I supposed to know that was going to happen in hindsight? With this, you'll take the world. Uh, Exile Gerate did a CZK 200 super chat. Have you considered therapy? Seems like a burnout. My colleagues are being mowed by burnouts all the time. Don't answer if you don't want to. Cheers and thanks for saving my tech list two years ago. Thanks for chat. Um, if I hadn't already gone through therapy, I would probably be in therapy. But I don't need to go to therapy. I know what the problem is. Ooh, can I actually win that? He's only got 25 wins of magic. He's only got... In the heck. What have I got? I got 70 wins of magic and beast magic. I think I can win. So yeah, I, I don't need... To, like, if I, if I didn't know what the problem was, then yes, I would need to go 
to therapy for this year. But I've, I actually, when I last went to therapy, it gave me the tools that I need to, to deal with this shit. Um, so I, I know what the cure is. <laughs> the cure is to retire. You know, that's what the cure is. Unfortunately, that is what I have to do. Super Eye Patch Wolf on YouTube released a video about exactly what you were talking about recently. It was super good if you wanted to watch it on your own time. Okay, um, I'll think about that. Guys, he doesn't mention his wife much anymore. He's probably just have his relationship. No, me and my wife are fine. Me and my wife are fine. Um... She's actually really looking forward to me retiring, by the way. She's really looking forward to it. I feel the hunger. Yeah. It is done. She Through she has very much encouraged uh, me to make this step. To uh to put this all uh, behind me. Isn't the viewership normal to drop down after COVID? I mean, 2020, 2021, everyone was forced home to watching a lot of streams. Your numbers were pumped up in that period. Uh, it's hard to say. It's it's hard to say exactly what it is. Um, I, look, I try to evaluate as much as I can. But when, it, when things like that happen, um, like COVID mostly, mostly being over, which it's not, by the way, um... The thing is, it happens really, the drop-off happens really quickly. But it's not even about the drop-off, it's about like the attitude of what the what the viewers are like. Um, you can get a feel for how satisfied people are, like, people are really unsatisfied, just bored. So, I think it's not quite fair to just blame it all on COVID one way or another. Well, I can definitely say that like, in 2020, a big part of the channel growth was COVID. I obviously benefited greatly from it. Which is weird, uh, weird to, weird to benefit from a pandemic, uh, from a pandemic. Um, so that that's weird, but um, with it being over, yeah. At the same time, I was streaming before the pandemic as well, and things are worse now than it was in like 2019. 2019 was a good year as well. 2019 it was a good year and there was no COVID then. Are the foster dogs adopted yet? Yeah, they've been gone for a couple of weeks. Master of butchery. Okay, I think we've done okay so far by taking out those guys. I think we need to try to stay in a blob. And use Flock of Doom. They don't have any air of effect abilities themselves apart from... No, they, don't, they just don't. So, you could be right, but at the same time, there are so many factors involved, you know, um, reading a lot of the comments, seeing the like to dislike ratio, looking at Steam reviews on the game, looking at the forums, uh, I just don't think it can be attributed just to, to COVID. It might have a contributing factor, but there's still a lot of other things. There is, there is definitely a big part of it of people being bored of Warhammer 3 big time. A lot of weird parasocial people are assuming things about your life here and right now. Oh, well, I, I, I didn't see it. This would be weird if Wife wasn't forcing Legend to retire. No, 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 okay. Okay. Don't take my words out of context, okay? That's a load of shit. Okay, you got. If you don't want me to fucking lose my temper at you, for one thing, don't take what I say and then twist it. Okay, if I say my wife is in, is has uh, encouraged my decision, don't make that as oh she's forcing him to retire. It was my decision to retire. Okay, my decision. I came up with it. She she didn't say to me you need to retire. 
or else I'm divorcing you or anything like that. It was 100% my idea and she supported me, okay? She was like, I support your decision to stop live streaming. She's not forcing me to do it, okay? So just don't, don't, don't twist it. When do we eat? Cookmaster Supreme! Hungry! Help the tribe! I think this is going just fine. Okay, if we can kill this lord, that would make a big difference, but he's actually kind of killing our lord. Yeah, don't be a fuckhead. Wife asking me to stop. Nope. Take it all. Nope. Here we go. Like I said, it's my decision the to do it. No, I only know Blast is fine. The master? I feel the hunger. I ain't no gobbo. Ogres. Hungry. Obviously, we're not going to go fight that in melee. Leader of butchers! They die! I'll smell ya! Oh, uh, can I go that way? Go this way. Swarm together! The Swarm Master! Okay, he's actually losing you against that lord. So let's pull him out of that. Just have him be a spellcaster. Uh, probably best I don't shoot into those shields, actually. I know I've got Wisdom's Wild Form, but I think we're just going to get more value out of Flock of Doom. Why would you want to retire from such a lucrative career? Have you made that much money already? Uh, it's... Okay. That's a good question. Why... Because you, you're you not wrong. Why would I want to retire if I'm making so much money? Right? I'm only 35. Why would I want to retire? Um, you got to keep a big thing in mind. That no amount of money is worth anything to you if that amount of money makes you miserable. Or get the way, or getting that money makes you miserable. Okay. Master of butchery. So. Streaming is both the best and worst job in the world because, as I said, um, you get to play games for a living, right? You get to play games for a living, and you think, "Wow, that's a dream job," but then it takes something that you love. And then it makes it, it like taints it. Imagine, imagine, imagine your favorite food, right? Let's just say it's friggin' pasta, right? Take, take, I'm not saying it is pasta, but let's just say hypothetically, your favorite food is pasta. And then imagine being forced, forced to eat it every single day. And like in absurd quantities, even if you don't want to eat it. That's what ends up happening. It, it, you, being a streamer to this extent, take something that you love and then it ruins it.
Um, Gaia did a five, five euros for Jack. Man, love your work though. Learned a lot and most of all enjoyed it all. And to be honest, we'll miss the honesty. All right, thanks, dude. I appreciate that. Uh, break it down to the five dollars. chat took a 5k pay cut because I wasn't happy. For those that get it, no explanation needed. For those that don't, no explanation is sufficient. That is a good one. Yeah, people don't understand. Um, like, it, it comes from a position of privilege, right? For one thing. And I understand that. I understand that. Because most people don't have the privilege to be able to turn down money. They just don't. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, they're coming at us hard and fast here. Most people don't have the luxury to just turn down money because they have to work to, to just pay the bills. But if you're not in that position, which I'm not, um, that option is available. Uh, I have no treaties with these guys. I was going to declare war on them. But they're pretty close to Confederation. Slide to $2 of shit happiness. Greater the money, yes, yes. Yeah. I can agree with that, yeah. And a lot of people do seem to think that, you know, money is like the only thing that matters. It really isn't. But yeah, I, I understand how it can how it can seem like. Why would you walk away from a lucrative career? People do it all the time. People do it all the time. Yeah, I'll do that. Whatever. That wasn't the original offer. They wanted a defensive alliance, but I reckon I can get it next turn. Finally, an ambush actually went off. I think we got him. Good. Uh, I think we just auto that. Let's take conquesting! I feel it, but you were forced to only consume one type of content. I get it's your main bread and butter, but your community is huge. Yeah, you you gotta Again, you gotta keep in mind my my it might seem huge, but Um It is also very fickle. Okay, um like you take, let's use a comparison. Um, if, let's say, take Spiffing Brit. Everyone, everyone here should know who Spiffing Brit is, right? Spiffing Brit can play whatever he wants, and he'll get a large turnout. That won't happen for me, okay? If there, there, are, the more I deviate from total war, the the more things go downhill. I can't deviate that much. Um, every time I try to deviate, I have, I basically, I just get pulled straight back to it. You know, I try something else just a little bit, and I'm like, yeah, I gotta go back. Like, for example, we did that Anno 1800 video last week. It did okay, but it performed worse than every other video I had, um, released in the past, like, couple of months. So, and I felt like that, that was a pretty damn interesting exploit, right? Something like that isn't going to come across. I'm not going to come across that every day. That was super rare. So that was a that was a I think a really great video for Anno 1800 that performed worse than everything other that I could do with Total War Warhammer. It doesn't give me much room to deviate. Okay, the more the the further away I move from Total War, the worse off it is. Uh, Really, what you were saying is that regardless of turnout, you were tired of it, so just burned out? Well, sort of. But uh, let me just get back to that in a bit. Uh, Teddy Bear did 20 dollars a video. Gonna miss the daily streams. I just left my six figure chef salary for the same reasons. Now I'm staying at home, dad, with my son, enjoying cooking again for the first time in years. Thanks, Super Set Dude. Yeah, I think, I think that's what will end up happening. When I re like put streaming to rest, I might actually enjoy Total War Number 3 a lot more. Maybe. Maybe. Um, Master Blaster 69 became a member for 15 months. As a pro athlete, I really understand you. Everyone expects you to be super grateful for your career, and sometimes it can be extremely tough. Good luck. Thanks, dude. I'm glad, I'm glad you understand. I, and, yeah, that, that's exactly right. Hippie did a five dollar super chat. Just want to be, want you to be happy and health, legend. You've got my support. Alright, I, I appreciate that. Thanks, super chat. Sorry, going back to that previous question. I've almost forgotten what it was. Um... 
Regardless of turnout you were tired of, it just burned out. Think of it like this. Think of it like this. Um, uh, it, in order to stream, there are three pillars that have to be fulfilled. All right? There are three key criteria, and all three criteria have to be met. And if all three criteria aren't met, like if only two of those criteria are met, um, it creates a negative energy loop, and then the, everything falls apart. Also, isn't your sleep schedule fucked by working nights? No, I got used to it. I mean, it's not great. It's not great. Um, but you get used to that kind of stuff. It's, that's not that big of a deal. So there's three pillars. This is really, really important for understanding how to become a successful streamer. Of course, if you're just streaming for fun, then you don't need to worry about this stuff. But there's three things uh, that are important. One, you've got to make money. Okay? Now, money in streams can be made in various different ways. You can get it through VODs with ads. You know, sponsorships, super chats, memberships. There's many different ways of making money. Um, that side of things is fine, okay? Obviously today, you know, huge amount of support from you guys. And honestly, I make a good amount of money every day. So that pillar is for the most part fine. The second pillar is um, your viewers have to be positive or enjoying what you're doing. Now that pillar is crumbling, okay? Um... That is where, like, it's not going to work if the audience that you've built are un unsatisfied with what you're doing, okay? Now, that can be f due to many different factors, and I think at the moment it is due to many different factors, you know, which, just going over a couple, people are sick of Warhammer 3, people are sick of Total War, there are other more interesting games coming out at the moment, uh, people are sick of me not focusing on the game and talking about real-life stuff. People are sick of chat. People are sick of Creative Assembly. There's loads and loads of different reasons why somebody would be sick of this experience. And I get it. And a lot of those factors I can't fix. Um, you know? And all of these factors are originating this year. Every, and from Warhammer 3. They all come in from this year. Um, we are? Yes. Like, just think about this, guys. This is a part one. Alright? A, a week ago. One week ago. A part one would have gotten 3,000 concurrence. That means there is 1,000 people that are not here right now. Uh, just one week ago. That's a, that's a huge drop-off, okay? A few weeks ago, it was 4,000. Right? So it's half since then. <coughs> a few weeks before that, it was 5,000. Right? So... There are a lot of people that aren't here, and I think people don't under, under, understand this, but that the people that don't show up actually have a bigger voice than the people that do show up, okay? So when, when, um, when you're here saying things in the chat like, oh, I'm really enjoying the stream, or fuck you, Legend, I really don't enjoy the stream, I hear you, but at the same time, the, the several thousand people that don't show up at all during a stream their voices are heard the loudest but you you just guys don't hear it but i hear it you know that's them saying i'm not interested in you anymore okay and that's that hurts the most now the third the, the third pillar is streamer health you have to enjoy the game you have to be mentally healthy and um well that's basically it physically healthy as well on all three accounts, bad. There, that's probably the pillar that's crumbled the most. Actually, physically I'm okay. Mentally, not so healthy. And I am not enjoying Warhammer 3 as much as I enjoyed Warhammer 2. I'm just not, you know? I really wish I was. I want nothing more than for Warhammer 3 to be the greatest game I've ever played. But it just fucking isn't, you know? It just isn't. I can pinpoint many reasons why I just don't enjoy it as much. It just isn't as good as Warhammer 2. It, sure, I'm sure it will eventually get there, but for me, it just isn't. Creative Assembly failed uh, in, in this regard, and they failed pretty damn miserably. Um, so those are the three pillars of streaming, and that's why things uh, have been so turbulent for such a long time, because the, the issues that are causing 
the negative energy loop, they're not getting fixed. Um, in order to fix it, it would probably be the simple case of just fix the game. That's it. If Creative Assembly just made Warhammer 3 as good as Warhammer 2, boom, all, so all things would be fixed. Uh, for the most part. Mental health side of things is a little bit harder to fix. My issues with CA will run deep for a very long time, but I can deal with it. Um, but as for the game, it's the root of all the problems. Uh, Decky Morgs at a two, uh, 20 pounds of I think you're the only stream YouTuber I properly care about or will happily click on when I see any of your uploads. You got this, mate. All right, thanks, dude. I, I appreciate that. I hear you. But again, I hear the voice of all the people that don't show up. All right. Um, we could hit Shang Yang, or we could bully these guys, which is what I'm going to do instead. Certainly. Okay. Most wise. Slower master. More chosen. Because that's just going to be shitloads of money. If money is not the main driver now, couldn't you just ignore the analytics and publish what you enjoy? Away, be an amateur and do only what you ever you enjoy? Um, yep, I could do that, but I don't enjoy it. <laughs> so, it wouldn't work. Then I would just be somebody who doesn't make money, but is also miserable. That would be even worse! Like I said, the, the three pillars are money, community, streamer. The money side of things is fine, okay? The money side of things is fine, okay? I still, I'm doing fine. Um, community has been troublesome, okay? And I'm not saying that you guys are, are bad community, I'm saying that that people aren't happy, okay? Um, and then the third one is, is me. So, you know, let's just say hypothetically I started streaming Satisfactory, which is a game I play in my own time. Um, nobody's gonna watch me play Satisfactory. No one's gonna enjoy it, right? It's, I play it in the most, you just, you would not enjoy it, right? I might get like a hundred viewers, so I wouldn't make any money, right? Um, but why would I, why would I play the game and not make any money when I could just play it on my own time whenever I want? Why would I play it at fucking night time? Just, why would I bother? It's feasting time, boys! Uh, Watchland, uh, 20 pounds super jet. Have really loved all your work. Understand you need to do what's best for you. Best wishes. Alright, thanks dude. I appreciate that. I I've always appreciated your support. You've been a big supporter. Warhammer 3 multiplayer campaigns are a definite improvement. Yep, that is awesome. That is great. But I don't play multiplayer campaigns, so it's lost on me. Damn, sucks to enjoy success, I guess. <laughs> right. Again, I, I, I have... I feel like I have succinctly explained how this works. Um, if you want to twist what I said, that's on you. Uh, Ninja Lantern did a 10 pounds review. So this has been asked already, but what are your thoughts on creating a second channel for non total War content? Thanks for all the entertainment. I, <laughs> man, thanks for the I have been around so long that sometimes I get so many questions about why don't you try this and why don't you try that, that I've actually already done most of them and they didn't work. So I actually do have a secondary channel and I ran it um, for quite a while. Um, and it's still out there. But it is a literal waste of my time to simply log in and hit publish. I actually I actually have videos... Let me just, you know, let me, let me just do this. Nah, I'm not going to log into it. No, I can't log into it, otherwise it'll cancel the stream. Um... um I actually have a secondary channel, and there is videos ready to launch on the secondary channel that all I have to do is hit publish, but I literally cannot be bothered to log in and simply push a button. Because it is does not worth my time to do it. Would you rather enjoy a bigger live stream or a smaller live stream? That's if that's not a relevant like there's that's no I can't answer that properly. That's just not the factors. Yeah, we gotta fight this manually if we wanna keep these guys alive. Just not use the damaged ones, it should be fine. It's just cause the damaged ones are causing bad problems in the resolve. 
Maybe it's on OnlyFans. Could be a moron. Minus 50 diplomatic relations with CA. CA has declared war on you. Nah, I don't think it was like that. Sorry, I didn't realize it. That's okay, that's okay. Uh, like, I haven't published on that channel in a really long time. Um, it's just a dead channel. But I... Uh, I was running it at the same time as this channel for a while, and, and like, pu putting all my non-Total War content on there. And it was fine. But then this channel went skyrocket through the roof, and I thought to myself, alright, why don't I just put all of my attention on the Legend of Total War channel, and I'll leave the other one alone for the time being. Because it's just not worth my time, you know, uh, making content for something and making, like, five dollars off it. It's just, it just isn't worth it, like, I'm not going to be bothered. I'm not going to be bothered uh, to do that. And so I didn't. And now... Like, I can't think of any reason to actually even log on to that channel anymore. Can't think of a single, single reason. Shorter live streams might help. No, they won't. I tried doing shorter live streams. It doesn't work. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me try something else. Don't... Just back off for a second. I got a fire wizard, why don't we oh, utilize him? If they're just going to stand here, the biggest problem is going to be the guns. Hand gunners. The time of steel begins. Hmm. Shame of fire. Fire belly moving. And yeah, the, the length of the live stream isn't really a problem because... Um, like I could stream for ten hours a day if I really wanted to. The glory of flame. Should I overcast this? Yeah. You better not bloody twist and turn in the wrong direction, though. Ah, oh, you fucking! This is why you don't overcast. Burning head. Bloody twisted the wrong way. I definitely tried to aim it more this direction. Piece of shit. What will you do after you stop streaming? Are you going to get a normal 9 to 5 job or are you plan something else? I'm going to make videos. Just going to make videos. Like, alright. Just, I oh, know, look, I can talk about this and still play. People assume that live streaming is like a hundred percent of of my income it is not it is not did you know that live streaming accounts for about 30 to 20 percent of my actual income 30 to 20 percent all right so me retiring from live streaming is not me making absolutely zero money it is me taking a pay cut that's all it is which which by the way warhammer 3 was a huge pay cut so i already know what it feels like to take a pay cut <laughs> so, um, uh, videos, just the regular videos that I upload from Disaster Battles is 70% of my, my, uh, yearly revenue. 70%. Not live streams. So why do I live stream then? Live streaming is about channel growth. Live streaming is about, um, communicating with your audience. I want it all. But if that becomes detrimental, which it has, where it, where live streaming becomes damaging to the channel, then it's actually it, it actually is detrimental to to the other elements of it as well. Which is why you'll see some people live stream on Twitch instead of YouTube, where they can just play whatever they want and not worry about uh, the YouTube uh, algorithm. Which, in terms of live streaming, I had down pat. But it doesn't work at the moment. Jay He did a 20 pound super chat. Got it to learn that you're retiring from live streaming or the best dude? Alright, thanks dude. Thanks super chat. It's not gonna happen yet. Not yet. You know, we've still got a bit of time left. Still got a few more months. Are you saying Legend is real estate investor, NFT owner, stock investor? No. 100% of the money that I make is from my channel. Okay, I don't have a I don't have a side gig. Okay. I don't have I don't have like 
crypto or real estate or any of that, 100% of my yearly revenue is the channel. 100% of it. But then, then you can break it down into um, you know, live streaming, regular videos, sponsorships, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, the, the actual breakdown is something like 30% of it, 20-30% 20, is live streams, 70% of it is uh, uploaded videos. So yeah, if I retire from streaming, it'll be fine, as long as people watch videos, which, why would you... Would people stop watching Disaster Battles if there were no more live streams? I mean, I sort of experimented with that last year and this year in the month or two that I took off, and uh, views didn't drop down at all on, on regular videos. How big was the channel when you got your first big sponsor? 80,000? 80 to 100,000 subs. First big sponsor was Displayed. Uh, that was the first, like... Yeah, that was the first, like, wow, that's a big sponsorship. Uh, and then the next one after that was Instant Gaming. Still is Instant Gaming. They've been very good to me. Yeah, but they... I don't know. I don't know if I can keep the Instant Gaming one. They might fire me soon. That's another thing that people don't realize. Wormer 3 is causing my sponsorships to like... <laughs> they like, they fire me. Because of lower interest. Are they still sponsoring you? Instant Gaming? Uh, or, or Display. No, nah, okay, so Display... Um, Displate, something happened with Displate, and I think it had something to do with Games Workshop, where they, I think they sued. I think Games Workshop sued Displate, because Displate ghosted me and all, everyone else that was um, associated with Warhammer, but not, not specifically with Total War, because I noticed that Pixelate Apollo maintained his partnership with Displate, but he doesn't do any Warhammer stuff. Um, I, was, I was doing good numbers for Displate. Uh, but they just ghosted me all of a sudden. So I think they had a lawsuit where they were forced to drop every Warhammer uh, creator. Something like that. Because, um, yeah, they just ghosted me. I, never, I sent them a bunch of messages. I just never heard from them again. Do the VODs of your live streams make any money? Yeah. Yeah, they do. They do. Through ads. Not much. How much did you get the most up front from sponsors, regardless of cut of sales? Well, I'm not going to tell you the actual figures. Just play it paid me about $60 million. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's obviously ridiculous. This play probably had Games Workshop but intellectual property for sale. Oh, they definitely did. They definitely did. I know because I was pushing it. Us, the shockingly obese. All right. Well, that got our finances back under control, so that's good. Test me at your peril. No, Ogre, a master. No. Mm. Flying Scoots did a HUF 4000 super. Did you have a good one, Chief? Alright, thanks, dude. I appreciate that. We'll throw a great Start an alt streaming account to do whatever you want to. I feel miserable with this account. <laughs> I don't know how many times I gotta say this. How would that fucking fix anything? Man, look, 
I, I appreciate that you're trying to help. I do appreciate that. But when you say something like that, it just means that you didn't listen to anything I said. Ha like, let me let me ask let me answer that by asking you a question. How do you think starting another streaming channel would help anything? Okay. So I can so I can spend six hours a day streaming a different game for nothing. <laughs> you know. Cool. I could do my real job, and then I could do my real job again, and not get paid for it. Awesome! Like, why would- what the fuck would I do that? It's like, that is fucking torture! Oh, that tyrant! Hold, master! Don't you dare rest! I get that you probably just didn't get it, and that's fine, that's totally fine. Uh, hopefully we don't get caught. Over the end turn, uh, replenishment rate's not amazing. But we'll see how we go. Follow the meat stench. No harvest the me. King Gold Dragon did a five dollar super chat. For more context, I think I'm gonna aim for Mother vs. Son War at the end game rather than confederating her. Yeah, it's all good. Do whatever you want, dude. It's did I, sorry, did I not read your your super chat up here? Sorry, King Cold Dragon did a 10 the super chat. Hey bro, Marathi talks, talks like half of the higher, sorry, takes like half of the high off island by the time Malekith get there. So now I'm split between hitting Norsk or Bretonia territories. Do you have any suggestions out of the two? Okay, sorry I missed your first super chat. Because uh, yeah, that made the second super chat make absolutely no sense. Uh, the, okay. Thing to keep in mind. Is that I don't play Dark Elves in Warhammer 3. My, my recommendation is can that campaign. Just can it and go play it in Warhammer 2. Don't play Dark Elves in Warhammer 3. They're fucking boring. Um, they are stupidly strong. And the AI is stupidly um, um, weak. Um, I personally think that you get... I Well, that's just my personal opinion. I get way more enjoyment playing them in Warhammer 2. Because the AI puts up way more of a fight. Which just feels better, uh, fighting tougher battles with the Dark Elves in Warhammer 2. Like, because you just fight tougher battles, right? Um, and while you you are also richer in Warhammer 2, for sure, if you know what you're doing, they are, um, it's just a better experience for the Dark Elves to go up against enemies that are actually putting up a fight. They actually, okay, the vampires might come up here and attack this one. Might do that. I'll eat any challenger. Do you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get rid of this here, and I'm gonna disband this camp, and I'm gonna build it over here. And then, yeah. Then what I'm gonna do is transfer all of these into there, except for except for this one. Keep your tyrant cold, boys. Do what I say. Gum plates filled with sweat. The more asks it. And now I can actually get a local ball. Oh, want everything. We lose a bit of growth from it, but that's fine. Anyone want to challenge me? King Gold Dragon did two dollars of shit. Oh yeah, I forgot to clarify. I'm playing Wormer too. Have helped. Okay, dude. Okay, let me just reread this again and have a look. Uh, I okay. Uh, I would probably hit both Norska and Bretonia. Hit both. <laughs> That's what I would do because Norskans will constantly declare war on you. So will the Bretonians. But Norsk is closer to you. I believe Norskan territory is, at the very least, orange territory. So yeah, I'd probably hit Norska first, just to get rid of them. It's not about profit, it's about sending a message. And at the end of the day, you don't need to take their territory and make any money from it. Just enslave them, send all the slaves back to the Iron Mountains, and uh, and make make a huge profit from that. Yeah, thanks Super Chat, dude. Alright, uh, Rich History, Grim Titan did a $5 Super Chat. Times have changed for sure, we are no longer in our 20s. Big difference, 
back in the day going from drunken Irish campaigns to medieval suits simpler times. Grim Titan, I remember you. We did uh, hot seats together. How's it going, dude? Um, yeah, it's different times. It's, it's, things have changed, for sure. Which is, this is a good thing to change. Yeah. Uh, James Ward did a 50 pound super chat. Long time viewer on and off here, and I wish you, the missus, all the best. Uh, in your future endeavors. Here's hoping the patch on 18th rekindles a lot of love for Warhammer 3. Even mine is waning and I don't get paid to play. Love you, bud. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Thanks for the super chat. Love you, too. I know I'm a random guy in your chat, but I would suggest trying streaming something else that is also popular. Yeah, okay. That's, that's, that's a, yeah. I, I am considering it. I am considering it. Starting a new channel. No, don't be ridiculous. But, like, streaming something else for a little bit. Yeah, I am considering it. I, the, here's the problem, is that I really, really want to live stream nothing but Warhammer 3. I really want to just focus on this game and just the entire year be about this, you know, new Total War Warhammer. I just can't fucking do it, you know? I just can't do it. I need to take constant breaks. The game oh, just isn't, doesn't have the bones ready for it. Whatever I decide. First stank. Nah, you're gonna you're gonna be named to something else. We'll throw a great face. There we go. That's a that's a much better name. The overtime. Spicy fat lard stank. There we go. Get some ward save might help him out. Must face. I just got him last him go for a while back. Uh, pretty okay. They're okay. Um, it depends. Like, uh, Skyrim's not a game that I have figured out how to play in an entertaining manner. Uh, but they do pretty well. Um, it has a very, it has a very um high viewer drop off though. Um. People get bored of it pretty quick. So, I could do it once every now and again. Shackleton Mangrum did a five dollar super jet. Last stream could be you and a Koi on a co-op. Two idiots against the world to send off your best YouTuber out there. Oh, dude. I don't know. Co-ops are just... I just don't enjoy them. Like, I like a Koi, but I don't know about... I don't know about that. Did I only put four points into this? Huh. This will assist my recipes. Okay, so I think what we should do here is actually go into ambush dance behind here because there's actually a lot of units already inside of the um, the carrot cracker ten. Yeah, already a lot. So if Helmand Gorst besieges, this guy will have time to get in there. As uh, Sven Breed did a 10 euro super chat. I recall you going on a holiday in Europe sometime. Did you? How did you like the countries? I never went on holiday. I said I was thinking about it, but it it um uh it just uh, nothing nothing happened. Yeah, apparently you only need four points. Yeah, you only need four points to get to there. How about that? That's uh that's pretty good. What about Morrowind? I've never played Morrowind. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, apparently it's really good, but I think it's just too old. Weren't you going to do something with ESO? Yeah, I don't know. I, I thought about it. I just, just... I just don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Do you think the, the meat mechanic is solid? I found it kind of gimmicky. Uh, it's a bit basic. It's a bit basic. It's not that interesting. Yeah. It could definitely be improved. Alright, so just trying to figure out what we're going to do with this. Alright, look, we're at full strength there. I think just hiring some Noblars. 
will be fine. I mean, it's relatively cheap. Just the basic ones will do. Because you just need to hold them back while the towers do the work, because the ogre towers are pretty good. Yeah, he's just been beelining for us while Kugath is sitting around doing nothing. Alright, I think we're good here. Let's have a look in diplomacy and see what else we can do. Oh, no, no. I'm about to attack that settlement, so no. Maybe then I'll give him a peace treaty. Maybe. NO 1800 campaign, perhaps with the mod where you make the AI real hard? No, I'm not going to do that. No. No, I... I think NO 1800 is a game that I would like to just play on my own time, and I don't want to live stream it. Because I feel like if I live stream it, it might ruin the game for me. So I'm just going to play it in my own time. Nah, fuck you, man. I don't care if you want to declare war on me. Some bitch, you threaten me? I'm the one who makes the threats, bitch! Yep. He launched the attack because he didn't see our army over here, and once they've launched the attack and pulled us out of ambush stance, they don't realize how much they fucked up, so we can just order that. We're going conquering. Let's go feast, boys. Why don't you just bite the bullet and play Minecraft? Oh, tempting. Tempting, but I don't know. Have you seen the new Mana Lords demo? I was watching a couple of people play it. I don't know. I was... Will you go to Europe after you stop live streaming? It's nice here. Actually, yes. I'm actually thinking about it. Nothing concrete yet, but next year I am planning on a bit of a tour of some European countries. I can't go everywhere, but it is it is something that I would like to do, which is something I can't do if I'm full-time streaming. What about a Let's Play of Anno 18 just a video series, not a, long, not a live stream? No. No, what were for? Look, people ask about this all the time. I totally understand why people would want me to play Anno 1800. But the way that I play Anno 1800 would not be interesting for people to watch. I'm not going to subject people to that. Only for them to be like, Ah, I can't believe he plays this way. Rah, 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 rah. You know, which is exact, I know for a fact, is exactly what's going to happen. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck me, man. Alright, you're gonna have to go back. March on for the more. Yeah, you're gonna have to go back, because that is... Cleavers. That is... Master some bullshit right there. Gracious. This uh, I might place. not be able to make it there now. I said move! Oh no, I can still make it there. Okay, that's good. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, I've lost my stalker, but I think we'll still be okay. Can you describe the way you play? Okay, if I could just use one word, just one word, in order to explain the way that I play um, Anno 1800, it is autistic. Okay? <laughs> No, uh, no, not trying to offend anybody in the chat that might actually be autistic, but that gives you an idea of how I play Anno 1800. I will spend an entire day, I'm talking 24 hours, making one island. And making it so efficient and perfect that it just, for one thing, it looks like shit. Um, but I'll like build something and demolish it and build it again, demolish it, constantly trying to figure out exactly the perfect way to build it that just like makes its productivity something so fucking ridiculous um yeah vault hunter mod pack for minecraft you should check it out i think it'd be something for you 
I, I don't play Minecraft. How's that different from how you play Warhammer? Mm, because at least we fight battles in between my like, like cheesy approaches. Like I actually kind of get through this at a reasonable pace. Um, yeah, like I just don't think Anno 1800 is something that people actually want to watch. I, I get the people are going to constantly keep asking for it, but no, I just, I don't think so. I just don't think so. Why NO18 would be a bad game to stream? I heard Skaven with the fishing cheese is super powerful in there. Yeah, it is. It is. Look, at some point, you guys are just gonna have to accept my answer. Okay? You're just gonna have to accept the fact I don't want to stream NO1800. I love the game. I really do. I really do love it. It's a great game. But I don't want to stream it. I don't want the game ruined for me because of streaming. Which, by the way, streaming sometimes can ruin games. For the for the player, I just don't want to do it. Doesn't ruin Total War games for me because honestly, I wouldn't even play this game if it wasn't streaming. <laughs> I just I just wouldn't play it. Try City Skylines. Uh, I do own City Skylines, but I haven't actually played it yet. It looks like an amazing game, but I just I never got around to playing it. it. Seems like the kind of game that you that I could really sink like a thousand hours into, but I just yeah, I just, I just haven't played it yet. Are you planning any Warhammer 2 streams? I'm thinking about it. I am considering returning to Warhammer 2. I am thinking about it. See, I don't know if it is me or if it's Warhammer 3 that's causing a huge channel decline. I won't know that unless I go back to Warhammer 2. But I'm skeptical of it because, like, this is Immortal Empires. This is the thing that we've been waiting for for years. It's here. And it's just not what I was wanting. You know? It's not, it's not everything that I was hoping for. It leaves a lot to be desired. Just don't know. Crossman streams so negative lately. What can you do about it? What can you do about it? There's just a lot of negative energy in the community. What are you going to do? Yeah, I get that people are just like missing the positivity of like 2020 and 2021 where everybody was just loving Warhammer 2 and CA basically did no wrong. Those days are gone, man. I wish they would come back, I really do, but they're just gone. I would love nothing more than for us to just focus on being positive, but how the fuck are we going to do that? They just, we just can't. There's just so much negative energy around. Honestly, dude, you just kind of whine a lot, and that's honestly why I hop out all the time. Yep, yep, yep. And I whine a lot because you guys whine a lot, and the game isn't as good as what it should be. It's not like, it's not like there's no reason for the whining. Like, let me just ask you a question. Do you think, like, it is not, okay, no, it's not a question. It is actually not possible for me to play a game and pretend that I like it. It's not possible for me to do it. I can't do it. I can't play a game and be like, ah, Oh my god, this is the greatest thing ever! And fake it. I can't do that. So when you know I'm playing something and I'm actually enjoying it, it's real. Because I can't fake it. 
Right? If I play something and I don't like it, I will say I fucking don't like that. And the thing is, when I was doing Warhammer 2, I loved it. It was genuine. It was genuine. I didn't love everything about Warhammer 2, but for the most part, just loved it. The strongest. The fattest. Priest of the volcano. Burn them alive. They will return once this game has few more DLCs under its belt and IE is no longer beta. Yeah, do you know, here's, here's the thing, here's the thing. <laughs> I hear the same thing over and over again. Realm of Chaos comes out, viewers go down. Don't worry, Legend, everyone will come back when Immortal Empires come out. Immortal Empires will fix everything, right? Immortal Empires is here. <laughs> Don't worry, Legend, it'll come out. Uh, everyone will come back as soon as some more DLC comes out or some more patches come out. Don't worry, they're going to come back. I can only hear this so many times before I go, bullshit. Bullshit, you know? It's just, when? How many fucking times do I have to hear this excuse? What a lot of gold did a $5 super chat. Do you think Worm and Three might be better if CA did uh, cost some patches of bug fixes instead of these three to four months updates effectively losing major issues in the game? Um... Uh, that's not, no, not necessarily, because, you, okay, th thanks for Super Chat, firstly. You gotta keep in mind that if CA did a patch every week, the, the overall speed at which they, um, patch the game would actually be reduced. It would actually slow down the progress of the game, right? Because when they're doing patches, um, they've got to make sure everything's all nice and cleaned up before it goes live. So if they're, if they're doing a lot of, like, um, like, checks and balances constantly, making sure everything's ready to go out to the public, then what they're not doing is fixing a lot of bugs and fixing a lot of gameplay issues. So, honestly, the more time between the patches, they actually can get more stuff done. So that's not the problem. I don't have a problem with CA taking a lot of time. I don't have a problem with that. I have a I have a problem with CA making fucking stupid decisions. This point's mine. Yeah, CA should take as long as they need to do what they need to do, and I've always supported them in doing that. Obviously I wanted the game to come out sooner, but I never I don't feel like I ever was like, ah, fuck CA, uh, the game should be out now. I don't think I ever said something like that. I have a problem with them making really, really stupid decisions. Which they do all the time. Okay, that's my problem. They just make really, really dumb choices constantly. <coughs> Excuse me. Have you considered moving over to Paradox Games? I know you were once thinking of making that switch to become a Paradox channel. Hoi 4 in particular is going through a renaissance today. Nah, I did try that. I did try that with uh, Paradox. It's not for me to cover Paradox because I personally find the Paradox community to be obnoxious. Um, I love Paradox games. Absolutely love it. But I find the Paradox community to be fucking obnoxious as hell, regardless of what game I play. Um, I'm not... I don't, I don't want to make content for them. So yeah, I would, um, dumb choices in your opinion. <laughs> Daniel, yeah, I recognize you. I banned you already, so I don't know how you, I guess you just created a new account. So you're like, you're like a CA apologist. I'll let you stay a little bit longer. I'll let you stay a little bit longer, but you're a cruising for a bruising. So I'll, I'll humor you because of today's the way it is. Dumb choices in your opinion. Man, I, I tell you what. You can't possibly say that Creative Assembly hasn't been fucking stupid this year. You can't possibly tell me that they haven't been stupid, okay? Like, even Creative Assembly should be, like, internally being like, yeah, we're dumbasses. We're absolute morons for what they've done this year. 
Like, it, it's, it's not a case of subjective, it is objective truth that CA are morons this year. And I'm not, I don't mean every employee at CA, I mean the company as a whole. Um, they took something that should have been a slam dunk, and they fucked it up. They fucked it up, and it required work to do that. Don't look at the Realm of Chaos and tell me that CA didn't do something dumb. Okay? And again, people will counter with, Oh, don't be so mean to CA. Okay? Look, I have, I have absolutely no care in the world what CA thinks of me. Because CA have proven they have no care in the world what, what uh, I think of them. They don't care. Alright? Um... I'll, I've said it before and I'll say it again, because I don't mind telling you guys. Um, prior to Warhammer 3's launch, I basically begged them, begged them, to uh, not let the, the Realms of Chaos launch in that state. I begged them, and I basically said, if you do this, we're all going to go down in flames. Not just you, but me as well. And they were just like, nah, we don't care, we're just, we think it's fine. I basically begged them. It wasn't just them that got hit by by the realms of chaos like that. The realms of chaos was one of the worst experiences of my life. One of the worst experiences dealing with that shit. And CA knew how I felt, and a lot of other creators going through it, and they did it anyway. So after that, I owe Creative Assembly absolutely no loyalty because it was the biggest backstab I've ever experienced on this channel. The biggest backstab. And I will never forgive Creative Assembly for what they did with Realms of Chaos. In the marketing side of things, and I think I will never forgive them for it. Time is never going to heal this wound. They are never ever going to be forgiven or forgotten for this. And I will always remember it. And nev I will never trust them again. And I don't care if me saying that means that they'll never reach out to me again. Because... Like I said, they are dead to me at the moment. They are absolutely dead to me. Must face. So. Yeah. You don't think CA fucked up? I think you're deluding yourself. Alright, with the Valley of Horns, this region here is relatively safe. We can go about... I don't, I don't need public order. We, we just... We should have gotten the technology. And I get that that can be hard to to hear from people who like CA. I, I totally get that. I, I really do understand why that can come across as abrasive. Uh, why you hate on CA? CA is my friend. CA stabbed me in the back so hard, I will just, like I said, I'll just never forgive him for it. Ever. CA's in the Book of Grudges. Oh, yeah, big time. I've got such a big grudge over what they did over the course of Realms of Chaos. The Immortal Empire stuff is not so bad. Uh, apart from the fact they just used me, which was just a bit of an... That was just a shitty thing for them to do. Um, but, you know, uh, compared to what they did with Realms of Chaos, it's not that big of a deal. But like I said, I'll never forgive him for it. Emissary of the war. More flesh will be caused. Right, any chance that we can catch up to him? Yeah, there is. Right, finish him off. You're absolutely correct. Ever since your first Woman 3 livestream, I hated the new game. Haven't bought it yet. Just play Woman 2. Yeah. How did they specifically stab you in the back? Well, it's not a literal stab in the back. Um... So, I've explained this a bit before, but... Um, it was implied that that the part like it's called a a, a partnership program. It's not called marketing uh, program. You're supposed to 
Um, it was given the impression that the feedback that the YouTubers would provide would um, would help shape the game, right? And that was a straight up lie. So a lot of what they told us was just straight up lies, um, which wasted a lot of time and mental energy, right? And then when I confronted, because I'm not the kind of person that that is slighted by somebody and then doesn't address it. If somebody pisses me off, I will usually address it when it hits a certain point. I've been ad addressing it with CA for quite a while. This, has, this stuff goes back before um, even when the 3 first came out. I was actually telling them that they were really pissing me off. Um, but the complete lack of interest and care that they had in, in the shit that they caused Yeah, I'm leaving. Good luck, Legend. Hope you stop this live stream where you're just bitching about something. That's okay, dude. I'm glad you're leaving because you got banned before, so you can fuck off, okay? If you want to leave, you go right ahead. You're not welcome here in the first place because you're band dodging. So, fuck off. Bye-bye. You know? You won't be missed. Okay? Okay, you're clearly like a CA apologist, so you can fuck off. Okay? And that's fine. <laughs> Alright, let's see, yeah, let's find it. Chuck it on my loop pipe. Carve and grind. Slaughter master. But yeah, I don't think I explained it very well just then about um, the, the CA backstab. Um, it, it is very difficult to explain it to like people who aren't actually part of... It's very difficult to explain to people who don't understand how it all works on YouTube. Um, Graces, the shocking but like, game. think of it like this, think of it like this. Imagine, imagine um, something is being made. Alright, imagine something is being developed. Okay, this is this is what it was like, right? Imagine something's being developed, and they come to you and say, "Hey, we really want your involvement in this," and you're like, "Yeah, cool, I want to be involved in in this," and they're like, "Yeah, we really want you involved in this," and then time goes on, and you're like, "Hey, you're gonna get me involved in this," and they're like, "Nah," I mean, they're like, "Yeah, yeah, we're, we're gonna get you involved in this," and then nothing happens, and then nothing happens, and then so sort of implied things that were supposed to happen never did. And then you're, you get the product and it's like, oh my god, this is going to actually destroy my life <laughs> to some degree. Um, it, is, it is very difficult to, to explain um, succinctly how badly CA fucked up with me. It's really badly to explain. Uh, but I've thought over it so many times. Sometimes I think to myself, like, am I, am I out of line? Because, like, I was out of line with Thrones of Britannia, right? It's not unheard of for me to, you know, be wrong. So, you got to question yourself. Am I out of line? Am I... Uh, that's probably not going to get done in time. Is the way that I'm thinking... Um, unacceptable? Or am I being... Am I overreacting? And every time I think about it, I think, no, I'm not overreacting. They, they did screw me over. They did. They were shit. You know what? I, sh I I have every right to be angry with them. I think it over with over and over again. And every single time I come to the same conclusion. Yes. They were in the wrong. I have conversations with people about it to try to try to figure this out. And they're like, yeah, man, they fucked you over. They really fucking did. And maybe I just don't have their side of the story. Because I just don't understand why they did the things that they did. I just don't understand it. You literally said because the player numbers are currently in the game must be a good stay. The player numbers are okay, but you got to consider that it's dropped off by a lot. And the numbers that we're seeing right now with Warhammer 3 are similar to the numbers that Warhammer 2 had right before Warhammer 3 was launched. 
Marcus Eriksson did a 50 SEK Super Jet. Have, I had played 3k hours of Warmer 2 and I couldn't stand Realms of Chaos for 70 hours. I even played Vortex a lot, but Realms are terrible. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Thanks, Super Chat. Money? The, the thing is, money doesn't make sense. You can't just be like, they did it for money. How is making something that bad a good business decision? It can't be. It can't be a good business decision. It doesn't make any sense. Or dollars. Or pounds in their case. They, them making Realms of Chaos that way cost them sales. It definitely did. It cost them sales. It cost them business relationships. Like, I don't, I don't know, I, I don't know exactly, like, on a dollar figure, how much my partnership was worth with Creative Assembly. They might know, but I don't know um, how much my partnership with them was worth. But they have completely ruined it. Completely. Um, you know, I, I feel like I did a fair few favors for CA behind the scenes in regard to providing feedback. I did it with Troy, for example. With Troy, I got early access, and I told them straight up I wasn't really going to be interested in covering Troy. Uh, because it just wasn't something that I was personally interested in. But I got early access to it anyway, and I provided them some feedback, which I didn't have to do, right? And I told them about exploits, which they more or less fixed. I didn't have to do that. Maybe they found that valuable, maybe they didn't. I don't know. But Troy in early access was not in a good state, right? Um, was not in a very good state at all. Um, but, you know, next time that there is a Total War Saga game... Do you think I'm going to do that again? No. And again, I don't know how much they value that. And do you think the next Total War Saga game, which I think the next game is a Total War Saga game, do you think the next Saga game, I am going to say to people, um, yeah, you should pre-order this game. No. Do you think I'm going to promote that game at all? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. So, they've lost a lot of free marketing because of Realms of Chaos and shenanigans that they did. Again, I don't know how much that's worth to them. Wasn't it a separate CA studio? Well, sort of. So, um... Creative Assembly is one company, right? But they have different uh, branches. So there's the main one, which is in Horsham, that's in England. Then they've got like a secondary branch uh, in Bulgaria. And um, that's the one that made Troy. And I feel like for the most part, they did a fairly good job. Considering it's a Saga game. Because I don't expect much from Saga games. So you're saying I won't get to see you play Thrones of Britannia 2? Oh, uh, look, whatever the Saga game is, the, the next Saga game, look, if it is if it is actually really good, then I will change my mind, right? But let's be real, Saga games are not designed to be masterpieces. They're designed to uh, basically be, as I've called, I call them the McDonald's of Total War, in that they're just supposed to keep you guys fed with a new Total War experience, until the next major title comes out. Um, you lost stinkiness. For what reason am I disturbed from my... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna raid you, Caravan. Tribe Lord, to reach the world. Again, I don't know how much value that I have with all that kind of stuff. But like I said, they lost it. Also, just uh, just really quickly, just hang on one sec. All right, if you if, again, if you're still sitting there going like, "Oh, he's clearly overreacting about CA," blah 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 blah. Okay, just hang on one sec. All right, all reviews are still sitting on mixed, and even in the recent ones, they're still at eighty three percent. Okay, and if you're looking at that being like, "Oh, that's fantastic! This is amazing! Warhammer three is the best thing ever." Ninety-three percent. 
positive reviews on Warhammer 2. Recently, even though it doesn't have as many players anymore, 89% positive reviews. Alright? I get that Warhammer 2 doesn't currently have that many people playing it. But that is still pretty high, considering Warhammer 3 is supposed to completely replace Warhammer 2. Right? What are we up to here? And this number here, 35,000, is not that high for a game that's been out for a month. Okay? I get that some people want to look at this and the stuff that I've said and be like, Oh, Legend, you're overreacting. It's not that bad. All this kind of stuff. Warhammer 3 is supposed to be the greatest fucking experience for Total War Warhammer. Guts out, boys! Why don't you play Warhammer 2 and stop cry crying? Oh, don't be a dick, dude. Don't be a dick. Biggest in the tribe! The more calls! Alright, I think what I'll do this time is just wait and generate a bit of Winds of Magic. Because I, I, I do enjoy chatting to you guys. I get that, that some of the stuff here might be a bit annoying for people. Um, you know, criticizing CA and the game itself. Um, I have, actually have a good time with Women's 3 to each their own reality. For sure. There are, you got to keep in mind as well that no game, even something like Thrones of Britannia, um, one month, don't you mean almost one year? No, man, because the um, Realms of Chaos, nobody's playing that. That's dead. Unfortunately, uh, when we look at uh, Warhammer 3 numbers, this is Immortal Empires and Realms of Chaos, but I can pretty much guarantee that barely any of that is Realms of Chaos. Do you know how we know that? Because before Immortal Empires came out, Warhammer 3 peaked at like 8,000 concurrent players maximum in a month. Because I, I, I was checked, actually, I still think I still got it up. Yeah, I do actually still have it up. Okay. Um, in my Steam charts over here, um, we can see that um, in before Immortal Empires came out, don't sit there, don't sit there and fucking say that, Immortal, uh, that Realms of Chaos wasn't a joke. Peak players, 8,364. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Don't sit there and say that the Realms of Chaos wasn't a complete fucking joke. Major Elder to Tool is the single biggest fault with Realms of Chaos, i.e. It's not fun. It's not, there's not one thing. It's just, it's not fun. It's, it's okay, biggest fault of it is that it's not a Total War game. It's actually not a Total War game, Realms of Chaos. It's a stupid designed mini game that makes, that distracts from the Total War experience. Child of the volcano. Mr. Super Chat, sorry. Uh, Marcus Erickson did a 50 ACK submit. Realms of Chaos campaign is so bad that Toggle Chaos Realms mod is the second most subscribed. That says a lot, insane they didn't listen to you guys. Okay, okay, that's a good, thanks for Super Chat. Do you know what the funny thing is? Is that they shouldn't have needed to listen to us. Now here's, here's the th another thing as well. I didn't just ask them to like, hey, you know what, this Realms of Chaos stuff, it's, it's not that good. You wanna maybe put it in a patch? It wasn't like that. It, it was like this, please, please don't launch the game like this. I'm begging you. The reviews are going to be terrible. I'm good. I have no choice but to give it a terrible review. Please, please put in a post, a, a pre-launch patch. Please change something about this. Okay. I basically begged. Okay. Th this wasn't, this wasn't like, ah, oh, you know, this, this is not that good, but you know, I'll just give you guys a bit of time and you'll figure it out. It wasn't like that. It wasn't like that at all. This wasn't like, oh, you know, they tried something new, they fucked up. Realms of Chaos is... Okay, imagine if you were buying a car, and the car didn't know how to drive. Okay? It's basically not even a car. Okay? It, like, doesn't even have... It doesn't even have a friggin' um, combustion engine inside of it. It does... It's got, like, a... It runs on, uh, bloody... Friggin' Flintstone yabba dabba do. Uh, you have to run like a caveman kind of thing. But you bought it assuming it was a fucking car, right? Um, that's what Realms of Chaos is. It's not a Total War game. 
it, it like the whole point of it is like takes you out of the total war experience and makes you do something that is so inanely stupid that's why people turned off from it but if you look at Wormer 2 it peaked at 84k all time and Wormer 3 peaked at 77 with shit release Chaos Realms yeah so Warhammer 2 peaked at 84k um, at the launch of Warden and Porch. That was the that was the peak of Warhammer 2. A thing to keep it okay, we gotta we gotta pause this for a second again. This is a really good point to make, okay? You gotta keep something in mind. Total War 1, Warhammer 2, and Warhammer 3 are all the same game, okay? It is all the same game. Warhammer 1, Warhammer 2, and Warhammer 3 is all the same game. Warhammer 1, okay, was bleh. Okay, but it began the franchise. Now you got to keep in mind that everything is momentum. This game was all about momentum, and Warhammer One started building momentum right from the get-go. It wasn't much. Now apparently, Warhammer One sold below their expectations. They weren't really happy with Warhammer One's original sales. Warhammer One isn't that good, by the way. So they start with Warhammer One. It's not that good, but they start building momentum. Okay, all right. By the time that Warhammer One is finished. By the time that Warhammer 1 is finished, Warhammer 2 is coming out. Now, Warhammer 1 hasn't generated that much momentum. So Warhammer 2 comes out, and everybody that's interested in Warhammer 1 is now interested in Warhammer 2, which isn't that many people. And so Warhammer 2 comes out, and you know what? It's better than Warhammer 1. It's actually better than Warhammer 1, and it starts building momentum. And then do you know what comes out shortly after Warhammer 2? Mortal Empires, which was a bit of a shit show, but you know what? It's better than the Vortex campaign builds momentum more people start hearing about hey did you hear about this warhammer 2 game it's so much better than warhammer 1 oh cool i'm gonna play it right it starts building up momentum for five fucking years it built up momentum and then do you know what happens after that time you hear about warhammer 3 and all the momentum that has been built up in warhammer 2 all that time culminates in warhammer 3 and they pissed it all away pissed it Fucked it all the way. 166,000 fucking concurrents. Pissed it away down the drain. Fucking gone. Five years worth of hard work pissed away. That's what happened. Everything that you can say about Warhammer 3. Oh, it got 166,000 uh, concurrents on launch. Thanks to Warhammer 2. Because all the people that had played it throughout its gigantic lifestyle... Uh, life... Oh my god, I can't think of the world. Um, all the time that built up over that time, all those years of people playing it. Don't forget, people don't play the game for the entire five years. They might play it for like six months and be like, that was awesome. Can't wait for number three. And they don't play it for like two or three years. But it builds up all this momentum over a really long period of time. And then they all come back. All of this momentum comes back for Warhammer 3. And they pissed it all away. It's fucking gone. So don't sit there and say that Warhammer 3 did anything to build up the Total War Warhammer uh, momentum. It's pissed it away at every instance. Immortal Empires helped a little bit to bring it back. And again, lifespan? Yeah, lifespan. Life cycle, that was probably the word. Um, they pissed it all away. It's just all gone. Um, Immortal Empires is... is you know, working on it, bringing it back. But, you know, I don't think you guys realize just how damaging um, Realms of Chaos was. <laughs> just, they pissed it all away. People just don't understand that Warhammer 3 should be at least two times now. Yeah, Warhammer 3 should be a lot bigger than it is right now. Should be. And again, it's... Worm, Immortal Empire is not bad. It's really not bad. It's just, it's just not as good as Warhammer 2. Now, if, if you're sitting there wondering, Oh, but there's more people playing Warhammer 3 than Warhammer 2. Yes. Do you know why that is? Because Warhammer 2 is fucking five years old. Most most people have finished playing it. 
but not everyone. Also, did, did you know, did you know that when Warhammer 2 came out, Warhammer 1 died almost instantly. Look, look at this. Oh, hang on. I gotta find where I put it in my... Look at this. Do you know that, like, nobody plays Warhammer 1 anymore? Barely anyone? That's 700 people. Do you know why nobody plays Warhammer 1? It's because it was made completely redundant by Warhammer 2. Completely redundant. The, the, the people who are playing it right now are probably just starting to get into Total War Warhammer. And they're just trying it out. The, the 772 people. Um, you know? Fire! Warhammer 2 made Warhammer 1 outdated. Warhammer 3 did not make Warhammer 2 outdated. Volcanoes might. Were that 700 people? Probably people are just getting, just getting into it now. Who have only just discovered it. You gotta keep in mind as well that not everybody discovers games on day one. I think Warhammer 1 was free at some point. It was free on the Epic Game Store, so that's not, that's not here. I can't check Epic Games uh, Epic Games stats. It's probably not that high. Now again, this is that's my interpretation of those analytics. I could be completely wrong, but that's th those are the information. Like th that's just the information that I interpret based on that. And I, again, I spend so much time reading the forums and reading other people's chats and talking to other YouTubers and listening to you guys. And, you know, trying to compile an ac as much as possible an accurate story of what the fuck went wrong with this. Um, and again, it's not like, it's not like Wormer 3 is like complete, utter, irredeemable rubbish. It's not the case at all. I like Warhammer 3. You know, I gotta keep saying that. Uh, Chris Zero did a 10 pound super show. On a related note, is that the great more ass crack in the background? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Thanks for the chat. Epic peaked at 50k for Wormer 3 Steam DB. Has the information on it? It's pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Gracious gold. Pretty good. Reckon so. But yeah, I just don't have those figures out for myself. If you check the Total War subreddit, you'll see everyone talking about potential DLCs and wishlist kind of stuff. People have the memory of a goldfish. Okay, okay. Um, well, the thing is, you got to understand the, where you're, you're getting the information from. Different places are going to give you different ideas, right? Um, if you if you come onto this channel and look at the comments, you're going to get a mixed bag of things. You're going to see some people absolutely loving the game, some people not liking it. It's just mixed. Um, the subreddit, typically speaking, typically speaking, not always, is very positive towards Total War and always has been. Um, that's probably why Creative Assembly tries to get a lot of its feedback from Reddit. At least it seems that way. Um, because, because of the way that sort of Reddit works is it kind of shouts down dissenting opinions. Yeah, and then you look at the Steam forums, and you're also going to see a lot of positivity, but you're also going to see a lot of negativity as well. Like, oh, I just can't get past turn 60, I get bored. You know, you, you just see things like that. You read the, you read the, um, I missed the super chat, sorry. Asura did a five pound super chat. Wormer 2 at the end of his lifespan was peak total war. Game was so much fun, now we got derailed into this nonsense. More or less. Thanks super chat, dude, appreciate it. Sorry I missed it originally. But again, if you want a full picture, you got to read everyone's point of view, and that's difficult because it's not it's not concise, it's not consistent. But you got to read everyone's point of view. The only people that you don't need to read their point of view are people that actually have no interest in playing Total War Warhammer. And you will see a little bit of that. You will have like historical fans or whoever come in and be like, "Ah, this game is shit," but they actually have no interest in Warhammer in general. You don't need to listen to those. Because to them, there's nothing that, that um, 
CA can do to please them because it's just Warhammer. So they don't need to be listened to. In this regard. It's not like their their um, opinions are invalid always, it's just in this in this particular situation. Fire belly moving. The more I want it all. Full CA shields. But you gotta listen to them as well. I get that, you know, if you're on the opposite side of a, a CA shills, they can be very annoying to listen to, but you have to listen to everyone. Because, you know what, there are CA shills and there are CA haters. Now, I don't personally feel like I'm either, because I don't hate CA. <laughs> okay? If they make a good game, I'll buy it. Okay? If they, if they came to me right now and gave me, a, like, a good deal on something... I'll take it. Like, if, if they... Yeah, I'm not opposed to working with CA again. Okay? But, man, they better offer me a good deal, sort of thing. I'm just not going to join their fucking crap partnership program and market their games for free, if that makes sense. But at the same time, I will... I feel like I will give CA credit where credit's due. If they do a good job on something, even though I'm still very angry at them, I will still give them praise for it, because... I don't ultimately care about my relationship with CA. I only really care about uh, the products that they're producing. My relationship with CA has always been, I, I can't give a fuck about it. You know, they've never ever been friends and never ever will be friends. You know. But yeah, the, the business relationship that I had with them was terrible. So that's why it was terminated. But I'm not opposed to a new business relationship forming up with him, even though I'm like, I'll, I'll never forgive them for that. What could CA possibly offer you? Get paid to do what you're doing anyway? Look, I'm not, I don't know what they could ever do, but I'm just saying that if, for example, CA is thinking, oh, you know what, we really want Legend involved in this next DLC, this next DLC is awesome, we'll do all this stuff, I don't know what, you know, I would, I would, and they, you know, they actually asked me, I, I'd seriously consider it. But if they came to me and said, Hey, uh, do you want early access on the next Saga game? And provide us feedback about what you think of it? Nah. Nah, no thanks. That kind of thing. I'm just, it, it's just not the same shit again. Do you think working with CA was beneficial in helping your channel grow? Nope. It was actually detrimental to channel growth. Detrimental. Hungry! CA came in when I was doing just fine and fucked me over. <laughs> so if I go hearing DLC, DLC from shills that want to throw money at CA, they need to make better product before they start doing that stuff. What they're saying is valid. If you don't want to hear that kind of stuff, then just turn... You have the option to not listen to it. I understand that it's not what you want, but there are people out there that just want some more DLC, and that's honestly that's fine. But yeah, you know, my my overall relationship with CA was was not beneficial for me. I know that some people can think, oh, but you got early access, and early access was good for the channel. No, not really. Not no no not really. You know, I think you you gotta you gotta keep in mind that. I rejoined I rejoined the partnership program at the end of 2020 Hang on. When was Silence No, not Silence and Fury. Hang on. I just need to find out when it was. Um Shadow and Blade. That's when I re I just can't remember when that was. Let me just check. Oh, hang on. I don't need to turn it off. Sh uh, Shadow and Blade. Where is that? Shadow and Blade, when was that? 13th of December 2019. Right. So that was that was when I rejoined the partnership program. After so I got blacklisted in April of 2018. And so the blacklisting lasted 18 months. And so I was back in 13th of December 2019. 
Now, 2019 was probably the biggest year for my channel growth. The biggest year. Um, so to say that Creative Assembly, um, didn't you grow more when Blacklisted? I did, actually. I did. Uh, let me just confirm. I can actually look at my analytics and check. Uh, I can tell you the exact numbers. So if I go custom date, and I go, um, first of the first, 2019, to, um, 31st of, I make it 13th of December, 2019, now, I'll just make it the end of the year, so 31st of December, 2019, okay, so that full year, let me have a look, okay, so, alright, here's some, here's some numbers for you, in terms of, like, subscribers, I'm not gonna give you all my channel numbers, but I've got the figures up on my screen right here, so 2019, the year that I was blacklisted, I gained 98 Point five thousand subscribers and I can look at the graph here and I can see an upward trajectory of the channel growth it's it's, it's pretty that what I'm looking at here is a healthy channel right channel that's that's growing um, I didn't get as many views in 2019 uh, 43.8 million but I gained 98.5 uh, K uh, subscribers now if I do this same thing, but I checked 2020. It did grow a lot in 2020, but let me just check. Oh, wait, no, 2020 was huge for me. Oh, no, 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 sorry, I, I put the, the things in wrong. <laughs> I was looking at two years there. Hang on. That might explain it. Okay, no, 2020 was definitely good. I actually gained 112,000 subscribers in 2020. 2020 was the peak of the channel. But let's look at this year. All right, 2021. Sorry, 2022. Uh, this entire year, which isn't over yet, uh, I've gained 48,000 subscribers. Half that of 2020. And it like I'm looking at the, the graph here. Not a healthy channel. Maybe just reach full market capacity? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. That was during COVID lockdowns? Yeah, of course. That's, I'm not going to credit CA for that. But yeah, I, I grew more while blacklisted than I did this year. And this is, this is Warhammer 3. This was supposed to be the, the biggest year for the channel. And it wasn't. Like, even if I go to... T uh, let's have a quick look at 20... Where is it? 20... Uh, let's go back even further. I'll go check out 20... Um, twenty eighteen. That was a bad year. Let me just check. Uh... So that was the year I got blacklisted. It wasn't necessarily a bad year, but let me have a look. Uh, okay, so 2018, I only gained 40,000 subs, but looking at this, that all happened at the end of the year. Yeah, 20... 2018, shit. That was a fucking garbage year. But that was where I started. Like, it, looking at the, the peak started, the trajectory up started in August. Man, that was... Man, my channel sucked in 2018. <laughs> Looking at this. So yeah, 2019 was the the biggest, like, exponential sort of growth. And then we got a bit... In, we got a lot in 2020, and then it went downhill from there. Bring me ale. Bro, was lockdown. People had lots That's more free time. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that was... That was probably what happened in 2020, for sure. How did it affect your profitability of from subs? I, I don't think I should really talk about that. That's not important. Tyrant. Tyrant of the tribe. Oh shit. I actually gained 
slightly less subs in 2018, a shit year, than I did this year. God damn. Fuck me, that was bad. Alright, maybe we should play some games. I'm probably, um, probably boring people with channel analytics. Alright, we just took out that one there. Am I able to get, yeah, get back to Shane Gang there? It's red territory, that's why we got, um, freaking no replenishment. I need to get a butcher in the army. They provide uh, casualty replenishment. Hang on, it's not really that important. Yeah, keep going with that. You lost stick in this heat. You reach market capacity. Slower master. Okay, okay. All right. If that's the case, and I reach market capacity. Then Warhammer 3 didn't grow the Total War community at all, if that's what you're saying. Which I would agree with. Boss of bosses. I, would, I would agree that I've actually reached mark, market capacity. But if that is the case, Warhammer 3 did not grow the, the Total War community at all. Which I, I would agree with. Alright, that's all fine there. Keep going with the growth. And we got rid of... Alright, we got rid of... Let me see if I can get a peace treaty with him. I think he's heading up to Amble Peak, I'm not entirely sure. But let's get a peace treaty with him. Alright, cool. We don't have any more wars down south here, so these guys can now resume raiding this to try to get the growth going quicker. But good for money, and yeah, just get that growth going again. Uh, Eddie Burfan did a $5 super chat. I think the market saturated argument is true, but that's not the point. Wormer 3 was supposed to expand the market, not shrink it. Yep, but I think it's also important to keep in mind that 2020 and 2019, it's not like no games came out, no other games came out during that time either. Oh, also, thing to point out, 2019 was when Three Kingdoms came out, and I didn't cover Three Kingdoms tyrant. at all, really. I thought today's stream would be short. It will, I'll have to get off soon. Three, three Kingdoms came out for, um, which was a good launch, right? And I barely covered Three Kingdoms, and I wasn't part of the Early Access. Remember how people are saying things like, oh, if you're not involved with Early Access, your channel will decline, or, or all this kind of shit. Well, I wasn't involved with Three Kingdoms Early Access at all, and yet 2019 was one of the best years of the channel. Doesn't make sense, does it? Master no, I think the greenskins went back up that way. This way. Yeah, alright. At least I know where they are. Mark Crane did a $5 super chat. I'm in a recent join... Sorry, I'm a recent join to the channel. And can tell you I really enjoy the content. I don't even usually watch streams, so you're doing something right. Alright, thanks dude. I, I appreciate that. I'm glad you're enjoying the content. On another subject, can you give any tips playing Scrag in Immortal Empires? I keep getting my ass kicked by Aaron S and Wurzak. I haven't played Scrag, sorry. This is the first time I played Ogres in in uh, Warhammer 3. I didn't I didn't play the Ogres at all in in early access. This is the first campaign. Will I be playing Mana Lords? Mm, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I, I don't know. I'll think about it. Just trying to decide what to do. We got four armies. I'm losing cash, but that's not that big of a deal. Um, should we just peace out with them now? Now that I got the thing that I wanted, we've also got that. Hang on, what are my enemies? I'm 
I'm at war with the western provinces as well. It's because of the desert. I'd say stay... Yeah, no. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, though. This is where a lot of uh, caravans come through. So maybe we should stay here. It's, it's red territory. It's a bit of a pain. Um, how strong are the greenskins? Yeah, they're tough, but they're not that tough. Alright, we now have access to Iron Guts, but um, money's not great. Yet. We'll have a new camp next turn as well. These guys here have got no army left. These guys here want confederation? No, they want defensive alliance. I'll do that. that. That way I'll be able to see sort of where... Yeah, there's the vampires. I knew they were around here somewhere. I feel like we should try to get ready for, for this. Just stay there for now. Yeah, just stay there. Don't worry about being an ambush. Just stay there. Biggest gut in the land. Get rid of these two. The Don't need them. Get eaten. Got it? Boss. And let's move on. Bosses. Does Greaser have any unique from mechanics representing his position as Zobatone, or is he basically just magic with Scrag? Basically just magic with Scrag, yeah. I was responding to Moonbear saying current player numbers was indicative of the player of the game state being Indicative. Sorry. I was responding to Moon Bear saying current play numbers was indicative of the game state being good. You didn't say that? Okay, yeah, that's that's fine. Sorry, I just I wasn't sure. It's all good. It's all good. What do you think about Victoria 3? Well, I never got into Victoria 2. It's probably a game that I would like. It's just I can't I don't have time to get into everything. Sometimes there's just games that you would really like to play that you just have to do without. You do. There's just not enough time in, in the day to play them all. What would be your dream Total War game for next release other than fixing Worm 3? Worm 40k? Uh, I'd say Medieval 3. If they actually did a good job of Medieval 3, I'd, um... I'd really like that. But, it's CA. It's really hit and miss whether they do a good job. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Yeah, there will be good releases and there will be bad releases because fundamentally CA never changes. Must feast. I am a dragon, not a slave. Hmm. The over tyrant. Damaged army. Cup plates filled with sweat. I kind of need some time to recover. Alright, let me just see something. If I was to sell them Nothing back Shang save. Yang, because I only save came over here to get that damn skin. item which I got. Could bully them for a bit of money there. I uh, might be better get a peace treaty first and then. No, because I'd be getting all their money anyway. To reach to walk. Obey me. Get out of me head. Did I get an agreement with these guys? So much as look at me, funny, but I'll eat ya. Maybe we'll go north. The okay, find out what's going on over here. Oh, okay. Need something done? Mm. Only if it benefits me. Hmm. I might be able to get a confederation with them. 
Oh shit, we got Grimgore coming down. Yeah, fuck this. Get out of here. Bring me ale. This will bring me spoils. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. I must inform you that I am all we are. Here, you can have this shit settlement back. I don't want it anymore. I'll just take the money, whatever. We are eight. The boss. I ain't doing that. Tribe Lord. Oh yeah, we got a lot of shit coming down this way. Okay, um. Get it done. Be gone. That camp is going to get destroyed if I leave it there. Everything we find is so I might as well just disband it. Yeah, might as well. And we should put a permanent camp behind us here. Follow the meat stitch. There we go. Veil of Titan camp. Cool. That way it's providing us with some support. Okay. Then... Let's see, uh, don't global recruit, just get some more of this shit, because we got a lot of stuff incoming, and grab that. And this should be a permanent camp now. Uh, there's some noblars in there, which... Okay, yeah, put that down there, let's get that growing. Wait, that's what... No, 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 do the growth one first. That's more important. So we're raiding this, so that we get more growth. It's a bit weird, but that's just how it works. Good, we can get a hunter from here. This is a little bit of cost of growth. Do what I say. Oh yeah, we can get the money one as well. Yeah, get that. Cool, cool, cool. And yeah, Greece has come back over here. Uh, I, I don't care what happens with them. Are they at war with... Yeah, they are. They might just take that settlement back straight away. It's fine. But we're going to go deal with Greece. Alright, let's have a look here. We could get camp growth plus five, or... Reduce upkeep costs five percent for all ogre units. That's pretty good. That's I don't really care about that. Um, we'll get another uh, contract next turn. I think we're pretty good for growth at the moment. Let's go with reduce upkeep costs since no that money is a little. Yeah, we're fine. Good one. So, just want to, again, just be um, clear with you guys. Sometimes when I have these, like, anti-CA rants or anti Warhammer 3 rants, whatever like that, I like to have a look and see whether or not I've actually fucked the channel myself. And, um, you know, based on certain analytics. Because some people will come on and say, er, I... I'm so sick of you complaining about the game. The reason your channel's dying is because you keep whinging. I was going to point some stuff out. During this live stream today, I've actually gained subs. More subs of what I normally do gain. Um, I didn't lose shitloads of subs. Except that, and we've not got a problem. The live stream as well has a 98.8% like to dislike ratio which is higher than average. So just to give you some perspective on other ones, the Dirthu Immortal Empires livestream is 98.4 and 98.2. Torox the Brass Bull, 98.2, 98.2, 98.7. Manfred, 98.2. Um, so if you're sitting there thinking, all right, legend, stop complaining, blah, 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 blah. Um, Like this life race is fine. I 
It, do it doesn't doesn't hurt the channel when I do this when I say this stuff. I have to get open chest. Well, I I'm of the opinion if something is wrong, you're not gonna make it better by not talking about it and not trying to and not actively fighting to try to make things better. And that's all I'm trying to do. I just want things to get better. And I hope people understand that. All I want is for things to get better. Like I would, I would love to have a good relationship with Creative Assembly. It breaks my heart what happened with me and CA. It really does. I don't like it at all. I lose sleep over it. You know. You know. But I, I th reflected on it. I was like, do do I think that I was too harsh on CA? No, I don't think I was too harsh on them. You know, and I want nothing more to be able to have a great relationship with Creative Assembly. It's just, uh, it's just not what happened. It'll make me legendary. Alright, so, it's cheese time. Come on, faster! You know what's gonna happen here. You know what's gonna happen. <laughs> I channel my inner Skaven. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? God damn it, man. Even with all that, it still says Valiant Defeat. I just want people to stop naking you in the chat. Yeah, I get that, but you, you gotta keep in mind as well that... That, um... The community, the Total War community at this point in time is not 100% satisfied. It's not 100% satisfied, and so it's going to happen during these times. Is he no longer partnered? No, I'm no longer partnered with CA. Bring us me! God damn. Um, I really don't think we're gonna lose. We'll see. Alright, well, he's taken a defensive position, so that's good. Let's see if we can get their artillery to shoot at uh, this lord here. Just out of curiosity. They might shoot at Greasus. No, they won't do it. He's too small. Okay, that's fine. They might shoot at Greasus, though. Just don't go full time to Britannia again, okay? Well, the thing about Thrones of Britannia is... Yeah, yeah, actually, I see what you mean by that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because uh, what I did was, with Thrones of Britannia, I got so pissed off with CA that I leaked stuff. I didn't. I haven't leaked anything, as far as I'm aware. I haven't leaked anything. The only thing I've leaked is like what goes on behind the scenes, and I, I feel like that was not part of the NDA. Um, you know, after after it's all over, I didn't didn't tell anything about what was going on until after it was all over. And there are people that break the NDA all the time as well that like leak stuff. Almost on purpose. And they don't get into trouble. Because <laughs> it doesn't... CA is... CA is very selective about when they enforce their rules. Very selective. It really comes down to this. You may break our rules as long as it doesn't hurt us. But if you abide by our rules and it does hurt us, then we have a problem with that. <laughs> Off I go. CA is, is very inconsistent with, with when they enforce the rules. Like if you if you're a creator in the program and you leak something, but it doesn't really hurt them and it was kind of an accident, ah, no big deal. But if you're in the program and you accidentally leak something and it's a and it hurts them in some way, you're fucking gone, mate. You're out of here. And 
And from what I heard, there was a lot of people that got actually kicked out of the program entirely just because of like feedback that they gave to CA. But again, I'm from, I'm only hearing that from one source. I'm sure CA's got their um, point of view as well. And it's not really fair to only give one side of things. But the problem is, that's all I've got. I've only got one side of things. I don't get their side because they don't tell it. And when they do tell it, it's like, I don't even know if it's the truth. I can't trust them. Oh, the But yeah, I've seen I've seen uh, some time for creators. Some I'm not going to name names because I think it's fair enough that they do it. If they get away with it, whatever. Uh, I've seen some creators. What they do is they'll know full well what's coming because you know I'll know uh, what DLC is next, and they'll make speculation videos. Oh, what DLC might be next? And in their speculation videos, they're like spot on 100% correct, but they'll like throw in one little bit of information that is not quite correct so it uh, makes it look like they didn't leak <laughs> it's like speculation on the champions of chaos dlc i don't know i think it's gonna be uh valkyr uh festus um village and and then get azazel wrong on purpose but they, they already know, like, who it is. And then, after they make those videos, people are going to be like, Legend, what do you think is going to be the next Champions of Chaos DLC? Uh, who are the Legendary Lords? And I'm like, Bitch, I know the answer. I can't. I can't fucking tell you. <laughs> can't you speculate? No, I know the answer. I can't speculate. And see, you'd be like, I don't. I don't see any problem with this. Don't see any problem with this. <laughs> it's fine. I knew and had no CA info. CA leaked. Champions guys. That's a that's true as well. CA allows these these leaks to happen as well. That is true. Alright, I gotta I gotta get rid of that. Um I did well there, but I gotta get rid of these Doom Diver catapults. Let's go. I'm sure they're going to start to dish out a lot of damage really quickly if I'm not careful here. Imperial Devastated to the Super Chat. Here, viewing on my birthday. Love your content, man. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate the uh, Super Chat. Happy birthday as well. Okay, if we get a bit of a blob going, then we can probably use Flock of Doom on them fairly easily. Alright. Let's start getting these guys around over this way to get at that one. I don't have any particularly fast units, but I got the magics. Alright, we can see that Grimgore is actually being chased, is trying to chase, um, Greasus. We're actually a little bit faster than him. Okay, Grimgore changed back around over there. Come on, move, 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 move. I gotta get these God flocking goons in here.
Okay, we're almost there. These guys have not done that much damage yet. So that's good. Yeah, considering their leadership's really bad, if we can just get what oh, we're completely out of magic. Piercing bolts or burning might be better than burning head now that with nurse buffs. It depends on what you're going up against. Against orc boys and low tier units, um, uh, burning head is probably more efficient, depending on how they're formed up. But if they're armored units, then definitely piercing bolts or burning. But we're not up against that kind of stuff just yet. So they turn 21. Also, is it just me or did he not have black orcs in this army? Indicating that he's already lost a battle. And lost those units. Oh no, there they are. <laughs> there they are. Uh, they do have the Immortals banner, but they've been smashed anyway. We got him. Man, we smashed him. Smashed him. I hope Sotek is right about vampires getting four legendary lords, one for each bloodline. Okay, so at this point here, I think it's pretty safe to assume that anybody that's speculating about the DLCs doesn't actually know what's coming next. I think it's pretty safe to assume that. Now, I don't have early access and inside information anymore, but I would say at this point in time, it is too early to know. So the speculations um, are not complete bullshit at this at this point in time but i think the vampire account speculation is pretty uh pretty valid it's, it's a good idea because i think the champions of chaos dlc performed pretty well i'm not sure exactly um i definitely didn't have any problems with it but i don't know no, it would be in our best interest if Grimgore got fully wounded. So he doesn't get any experience. Only rank 10. But only... Only these two here are going to have any chance of catching him. CA's higher-ups don't have a good understanding of mechanics. Yeah, I... I think that's a that's a good point. Um, I think that people in like major roles of Creative Assembly, again, this is pure speculation. I don't actually know, but I think a lot of people in major roles at Creative Assembly have absolutely no in, no real knowledge of how a Total War game actually should work. They have no clue, right? But they they got the job because nepotism or fucking connections or they're good at other types of games i don't know and ca just put them on the job to i don't know i, don't, I just don't know but on the other hand there are people i know for a fact that are in positions where they can decide certain mechanics that actually do know what they're doing there are some people so it's a mixed thing this is why this is why you'll get a faction like corn that was super well designed Right, so whoever designed Corn knew what they were doing. Okay, and I actually know who designed Corn. It was actually a good developer at CA, right? But whoever designed Nurgle was a different, different thing, different, uh, 
different designer. Now, I have no idea who designed Nurgle, but I know who designed um, Korn. And I know that the person who designed Korn is actually good at their job. Um, but not everyone is. Which is why you get hit and miss stuff. How should it work? Okay, so Total War um, has some fundamental principles that you cannot betray. Slow him with army ability? Yeah, uh, we're, yeah you're right, I should do that. Yeah, so Total War has some fundamental um, aspects that you cannot betray. Oh, hang on. Um, Hen, Hen Kachen did a 10 euro super chat. I unfortunately missed parts of the stream due to an involuntary donation to Korn. Uh, thanks for the insights, Legend. You are the only creator I come on YouTube to watch live. All right, I appreciate that. Thanks for the chat. I thanks for the uh, donation. Okay. Whoever designed Nurgle has to be dead. No, no, no. That's that's insulting. All right. Um. There are, like I said, fundamental tenets to what makes a Total War game function, and if you betray these tenets, the Total War game doesn't work well. Right. Now, every single Total War game that's ever been made that's good, adhere to these tenets. And every single Total War game that isn't good doesn't adhere to these tenets, right? So, this is in terms of single player only. I, I don't care about multiplayer. This is about single player Total War campaign. Which is, so if, you, if you're going to argue about multiplayer side of things, that's separate and I don't care. I just, that's a different argument entirely. So, the first thing to understand is that Total War is actually two games. Right? There's two games in one. There is strategic campaign, turn-based oh, strategic yeah, campaign, me. and then there is tactical real-time battles. It is an RTS, so no, 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 no. It is an RTT, real-time tactics game, and a turn-based strategy game. It is both of those things. I don't think we're going to get good war. I don't think we're going to get him. But he's pretty badly damaged. We'll get him in the next fight. Um, it's both of those things. Now, real-time battles. In order to successfully do a good job of real-time battles, okay, you have to make it that tactics matter. Now, what those tactics are can be debatable. So, for example, a good examples of um, uh, Total War games that have good battles, in my opinion are Medieval 2, because Medieval 2, morale, at morale shocks, um, positioning of a units, high ground, all of this stuff, leads to very impactful battles, where the decisions that you make really matter. Shogun 2, the decisions that you make on the battlefield, in the rock, paper, scissors sort of scenario, and having extremely good micro, really matter. Now, in Total War Warhammer, Okay, it's a little bit of a distortion, however, it still adheres to that rule, because where positioning matters less, high ground matters less, morale matters less, killing the enemy lord matters less, abilities, um, uh, unit types, and fundamental understanding of how the game actually functions in terms of dishing out damage matters a lot. There is a big difference between a skilled player and an unskilled player. Like, a skilled player can take a shit army and gain victory a lot of the time. Where an unskilled player would be like, Ah, oh, the stats aren't in my favor, therefore I lose. Um, and sometimes that can be seen as cheese, right? Now, Total War, Total War Warhammer doesn't do it perfectly, but it does adhere to the fundamental principles of, of real-time tactics. It does adhere to it. It just depends on whether or not you like it or not. Then the other aspect, as I said, is turn-based strategy. So, some good examples of the, the aspects of turn-based strategy is, once again, Medieval 2 does a good job of it, where it makes the decisions that you make on the, on the, um, on the campaign map, they have to be impactful, you know? The buildings that you build, they have to be, they have to be, um, provide you with a, like a, like a meaningful amount of oh I got something That's out of that you know the decisions that you make on the campaign Great map you know from going into high impactful um, stances such as ambush stance um, you know the type of units that you recruit the diplomacy all of that kind of stuff matters on the campaign map if it matters on the campaign map 
then then it works. So examples of that are almost every single Total War game. Almost. So Rome 1, Medieval 2, Empire Total War. Eh, it doesn't do a great job of it. This is one of the reasons why Empire Total War kind of sucks. Empire Total War is kind of more about the battles than the campaign. The campaign is shit in um, Empire Total War. Um, Napoleon, kind of the same. Uh, Shogun 2 actually has, a, in my opinion, a very lackluster campaign experience, which is why I don't enjoy it very much. However, it still does adhere to the rule, just less so than, say, Rome 1 and Medieval 2. Rome 1 and Medieval 2 adhere to the real-time, sorry, turn-based strategy um, rule more so than, in my opinion, any other historical Total War game. Um, Rome 2 does a terrible job of turn-based strategy. Terrible, terrible job of it. Absolutely fucking horrendous. Um, and Total War Warhammer does a good job, in my opinion, of the strategy aspect because the buildings that you build, uh, the type of units that you recruit, the diplomacy that you do, the overall mechanics are extremely high impact. Very high impact. And that's one of the reasons why I have loved Total War Warhammer. So, in terms of Warhammer 2, Warhammer 1, Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires, it adheres to those two rules and now to really make it work well is that those two well two rules have to work well in tandem that the that the strategies that you make apply well in the battle and the battle results affect your campaign well like if you do badly or good in the battle and it makes no difference to the campaign then that's shit um, vanilla gorilla did a 10 or submission hey legend thanks for playing my favorite faction been a fan for a long time I get to chat, though. Sorry, been a fan for a long time. I get to chat, though. Thanks for teaching me the game. No, it's my pleasure. Thanks for chat. All right. So, those two things working in tandem makes a successful Total War game. Now, when they fail at that, this is where we're going to get to Realms of Chaos. What does Realms of Chaos do? Realms of Chaos gives you an event that pops up. It adds a third element, narrative. Now, narrative is not required for a Total War game, but you can do it. It's a third but optional um, aspect. Now, the Vortex is narrative, and it doesn't do a good job of it, but it still kind of adheres to the first two rules. The Realms of Chaos betrays the first two rules of turn-based strategy and real-time battles. It betrays both of them because... It takes you out of the Total War Empire building, the decisions that you're making on the campaign map. It takes you out of that and brings you into a narrative where the decisions that you're making on the narrative, even if you're making good decisions on the narrative, will negatively affect your, your campaign. If you participate in the Realms of Chaos, it will always, every single time, be detrimental for your campaign. Bad. Bad, 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 bad. That's, they shouldn't do that, okay? It's a huge strike, okay? If you want them to participate in the narrative, it has to benefit the, the, the development of the strategy. It has to. If you fail that, the entire thing falls apart. Next up, battles. While you're in the realms of chaos, you are fighting battles. You are damaging your fucking army. You are damaging your army fighting battles that do not fucking matter at all. You know, fighting the demon armies in the realms of chaos, it doesn't fucking matter, okay? So it betrays the battle aspect of it as well. It also has these ridiculous rules where there's unlimited winds of magic and these stupid bombs that you can do that are random. It betrays real-time tactics. That bullshit happens within the realms of chaos. It betrays it. So both on the strategic element and the, and the, the battles element, the realms of chaos betrays both elements the only way the Realms of Chaos works as a Total War game is to not participate in the in the Realms of Chaos race because it betrays both aspects. No food till you get there. Slaughter master. Right, yeah, we're still gonna be okay. Too rich to walk. I am the tenderizer. All spoils here. I ain't doing that! Butcher in chief. 
So yeah, it is totally fine to put in a narrative campaign. Totally fine. But it has to, uh, it has to complement the first two rules. If it betrays it, which it does, which it does, which any developer that works at Creative Assembly should have fucking known this. And I tried to friggin' tell them this as well. It betrays the Total War experience. Okay? Imagine this. Imagine you're playing Call of Duty. Imagine you're playing Call of Duty, right? And a narrative shows up, right? And, I, I, again, I, 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 I don't know how this works because I'm not a first-person shooter. But imagine you're playing a first-person shooter and then in the middle of shooting in a battle or whatever, you're, sh you're shooting someone, a minigame pops up where you play a game of pin the tail on the donkey, right? And you pinning the tail on the donkey depletes all of your ammunition. So you come out of the fucking mini game and you've got no ammunition left, right? Fucking betrays the core concept. I know it's a probably bad example. Betrays the core concept of the original game that you're playing. And then, and then, you know, the person playing the first person should be like, why did I fucking do this? Why did I play this stupid mini game? And now look at my bloody empire. Like, why did I do this? And that's what Realms of Chaos does. We'll throw a great now the Vortex gets away with it a little bit because as you do the Vortex missions you actually gain benefits. Not great benefits and when you finish the Vortex um, you do uh, you do get a pretty hefty bonus. And it's also not as intrusive because it doesn't actually pull you out of the, uh, of the, of the campaign experience the way that the Realms of Chaos does. You don't have to send your legendary lord away from whatever the hell they're doing to go and, and like fight fucking demons. It and play um, guess guess the portal in the realm of Zinch. Slice the meat. Yeah, we lost all of that. I expect many new ingredients. Now there are some examples where some people will be like, uh, "Oh, realm of chaos." I had fun playing Realm of Chaos. I don't know what you're talking about. Now, the thing is, in that sort of scenario, it usually, usually is the case that no matter how bad something is, some people are going to like it. Some people will always enjoy a shit sandwich. You know, some people will be, you know, take something that is extremely unpopular and find it fun. Everyone has that, and it's fine. Uh, but usually, usually, from what I've seen, is that... Um, in, games, in cases of apologists for Realms of Chaos, uh, they won't stand a fight unless I do a regular stance. Okay, okay. Um, in case of apologists for Realms of Chaos, it is usually the case that they make excuses for it because they're playing on lower difficulties. In which case, the penalties and punishments for playing the Realms of Chaos are mitigated to the point where you barely notice. Usually, usually the case. And also another case is that some people just like to suffer. Some people just get off on 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 that kind of stuff, and that's that's also valid. But realms of chaos fundamentally and critically betrays the total war formula. Fair legend, you don't work at Creative Assembly. How do you get to say what is the uh, Total War formula? Because anybody who understands anything about the Total War formula can understand the Total War formula. It's actually very simple. The only good thing about Runs of Chaos was the Slash Island Ancillaries. Yeah, that was the only good thing about it. It, it, like, it wasn't 100% bad. It wasn't 100% bad, but it still betrayed the, the core concept. This will assist my recipes. The cookmaster has new mind. Reminds me of people defending randomly spawning Chaos Armies of Women 2's launch. Uh, they weren't randomly spawning, it was just due to the, um... Just due to the... Vortex missions going off. It wasn't random. Mm. Oh, 
that tyrant. Did you like the Smash Realm of Chaos, though? Um, I wouldn't say I liked it. I tolerated it. It was the only one that was okay. See how that goes. The Emperor's love saved us. Master Butcher. Bring me right. We're good there. We gotta stay tight. Uh I've also uh it, oh, I should <laughs> I probably would have had enough movement to catch it. Um oh, Oops. Oh yeah. This shockingly uh, nah, I go with. No, nah, I go with this. this. is really good. Should have put that on. I, I just forgot. William T. Did you super chat? Why don't you ever loot Pirate Island? It's easy gold. Stinking world. Uh, well, it depends on the situation, dude. But you have to keep some things in mind. If you're sending, okay, let's. Where's a pirate? Okay, where's a pirate? Alright, um, thanks for the chat, firstly. It is not necessarily easy gold, because in order to loot a pirate item, you need a lord. Now, let's just assume that it doesn't have an army attached to it and you don't have to fight a battle, right? So, if you take a single, any lord that you have... Alright, let me just hit the end turn here. This is all good stuff. I mean, there's no reason why we can't get all of it. Oh, yeah, we do need to get access to butchers as well, so there we go. Can always demolish that later. Sorry, sorry. Um, uh, Shatango Ingle did a 100 rupee. Actually, I'm not sure. Super Chat. Hey, Legend. Any plans to play as Kairos next? I really find his start difficult. He gets attacked from all three sides by elves, lizards, and demons. I'll think about it. It was on my to-do list, but I'll think about it. Thanks for chat. Sorry. Why don't you ever loot pirate islands? Okay. It depends on the situation. So, you, you have to send a lord out to go and do it. Now, you, by recruiting a lord, you are increasing your supply lines. So, let's just say hypothetically that that gold had, uh, sorry, that loot pile had, I don't know, 1,000 gold, right, attached to it. Now, what if the upkeep cost of that lord and the subsequent supply line increases your upkeep costs by more than 1,000? So you're just wasting money. The other thing is, if you're sending your standard army to go and um, take that gold pile, right, then your army is not dealing with whatever other enemies you have going on, or it's not capturing territory, which is usually more important. Now, if you have got nothing going on in your campaign, like you're just sitting around doing nothing, which is never the case for me, my armies are almost always have some purpose, then um, it is okay to go and get those, um, those islands. Also, if you're sailing somewhere, and on the direct way towards where you're trying to go there is a, a like a treasure chest or whatever then it is totally fine to go pick it up but by going out of the way to pick something on uh, especially in the early stages of the campaign it is usually detrimental to your campaign to do it especially on legendary difficulty At the same time, you could ignore the rituals if you want to. You cannot ignore the portals and realms of chaos. Yes, that is true. That is true.
if these contracts were done the right way, you could have your army fight the enemy without your faction being at war with them. Maybe. No, that was a good. That was a good question about the uh, the treasure chests. It was a good question, uh, but it, it just comes down to what you need in your campaign, and just a lot of the times I'm just too busy to give a shit about about that. That's all. Consider me one of your friends in high places. And they are really close to confederating. You better give me whatever I want, or I'll take it from you. I've run out of time. I gotta get off. Um. Yeah, I don't think it'll catch him. And if he comes around to Karakas, well, he's not going to win. Keep us sweet. Yeah, the ogres get really large garrisons. Holy crap. Are there any landmarks to ride to the Great Mall? Uh, yeah, I think the Firemouth. Yeah, the Firemouth has got something. Uh, that's to the Firemouth, though. Not necessarily the Great Mall. I'm actually not sure. Uh, uh, what am I, I guess I need to get down here and deal with um, the Dezenta Lords of Jinshen took his capital. <laughs> How did they let that happen? Oh my god, he only owns two minor settlements. Alright, why don't you stay here, keep protecting this for now, and you come down here. In charge. Obey me. If it means butchery. Okay, that saves us a bit of money. Out my cleavers. Just in case they come back this way. To reach. We should have enough growth to get straight to, to that one next turn. What does the Great Moor do in the campaign? It's just graphics. Doesn't do anything. I'm out of time, guys. I gotta, I gotta wrap things up. I gotta wrap things up. All right, let's go chuck a host over someone, and oh, we'd love to call that a day. Got it. Now, I think, like, I haven't come to this conclusion, but just you know, being, being honest with you guys, um, I think I need to take a break from Warhammer Three, in terms of live streams. Um, no, I will probably live stream tomorrow. But I don't think I'm going to live stream Warhammer 3. Um, it's not working for the channel. It's not working for me. Uh, I think I'm going to try a couple of different things. I might go back to Warhammer 2. I might try Skyrim. I might try something I haven't uh, played before. Uh, we'll see. But I think 
I think at least for a couple of days, I think we need to try something else because yeah, Warhammer 3 is not working for the channel at the moment, which I'm, I'm actually really sad about um, because I would love nothing more of, than to just cover uh, Warhammer 3, but it's just not working. It really just isn't. Okay, so we're going to chuck it over to Costin Gaming, who has nine people watching. He's doing a Thorak Ironbrow campaign. Hang on, I'm just getting the, the link here. But yeah. I don't know, we'll just have to, we'll just have to see how we go. But yeah, it's just not working at the moment. I've... No, it's just not working. Hang on, let me just see this again. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to chuck it over to Costin Gaming, who I've never hosted before, I don't think. Alright, I uh, appreciate all the support today, guys. You guys were super generous. I, I hope you've enjoyed this live stream. I know that there was a lot of spicy discussions throughout, and I know that some of you guys hate that. Um, and I get it. Uh, but you've you got to you got to understand that things are not perfect. In fact, things are not even great at the moment. Um, things have been extremely rough. And even if you are... Some of you are probably just absolutely loving the game. you got to keep in mind that it's just that's not the case for everyone. So... You know, I think it's important that we got that there is different perspectives. Um, Falkel Falkel Oriel did a 1.79 pounds super chat. I'd be down for Skyrim. Thanks for the day, Legend. Alright, no worries, dude. Thanks for the chat. Now, thank you guys for your generous super chats. It was um, greatly appreciated, especially to Jonathan Lamb. That was a almost an absurd super chat. Uh, I I really do appreciate that, and it was way more, way 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 more than you guys ever really needed to to owe me. Um, I do appreciate that, but yeah, um, I think we gotta try some different things. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys.